Why, hello there. I have made it. <laughs> it's Thursday. Yeah, this day doesn't exist. It's 75% of the time, so that's throwing me off a little bit. Um, <laughs> how are you doing, folks? I hope you're well. I am... Um, The time between my alarm going off and me getting out of bed, it seemed like about 10, 15 minutes. But I think it was much longer than that. But we're here. And yeah, and slap with Windows updates. Although that's just an excuse because um, it forced me to update Windows and then it was nothing is broken. It's just fine, I guess. So uh, I can't use that as an excuse. But here we are. Today is the day. Um... Of course, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Ritz, Squidge, Red Mage on that right as we speak. I hope they're enjoying it. No, that's the fuck that day. Who gives a shit about that day? Today is the actual day of starting, finally, a Vagrant Story. Um, I'm, uh, I'm kind of slightly low-key hyped. Um, I have... Uh, <sighs> I say I've got no idea what to expect. I've got a rough idea. So I, um, <clears throat> yes, I made a point of watching the 20 minute <sighs> beginner's guide video. It's, it's a, it, the video is called like top 10 hints or tips or whatever, but they're not like vague tips. It's like it explains how the fucking game works. It is. Yeah, there he is. How was it, Red Mage? The man himself. Mage himself. Um, How's it going? You're stopping in for uh, two minutes just <laughs> before we get distracted. Um, it's. Um, I assume it's not shit. I assume it's not. I'm not a fuck fake on story. I'm <laughs> well, no, I'm excited about that. You should be excited about uh, Rebirth right now. Um, Did you. Uh, did you. Were you sensible, Red Mage? Did you just like... Did you just like... Be like, okay, I'm just going to go to bed and just try and sleep and then I'll just get up and enjoy my day as I play Rebirth tomorrow? Or were you like, I'm going to just... Um, I'm just going to... Have you have you been to bed? <laughs> Did you just stay up till midnight and you've just been like, oh shit, when... I bet, you, I bet you're sensible, but either way. Uh, yeah, it's that good. It's that good. But anyway, yes. Um, it's a vagrant story. I'm... Uh, I'm low key uh hyped about okay, right, I see. So you have you have slept, but you did stay up till midnight, played it for an hour or two or three, and then you know, and then you've just got off a bit late today. That's look, bro, you've uh you're on you're on uh you're on holiday right now, you know. So enjoy it, make the most of it. Do we gotta do? You only did an hour. you're uh your sense of discipline, Red Mage. Oh, it's probably just you're tired, just like fucking. It's the balance between uh the hype. Uh, there's only if you're actually tired, there's only so much um hype can keep you awake. So you're not tired. I actually um actually uh got a decent lift in yesterday, so that was good. That was good. Um, I've doubled down and uh, did my full cycling on Saturday, and, and I'll feel good about myself. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it's like my brother. My brother is, um, he's so set in his schedule that he, you know, he's getting up at 7 a.m. even on his days off. Like, even if he takes like a week or two off of work, he's, uh, he's gonna just get up at 7. <laughs> you know, he goes to bed like at 10 o'clock. Sometimes a bit later. Usually on weekends, he, he pushes it like another hour, but. You know, like he's gonna he's gonna bed while I'm make, making food and cleaning up and stuff. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah, right, yeah, because it's that balance between them. Um... Right. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Like, I should probably go to bed and you're just in bed like, oh my god, that was amazing. Yeah, <laughs> excellent. I can only imagine. I guess I don't want any spoilers. So if spoilers are a thing, but because at the end of the first one, they um. I don't think they quite get to calm, do they? But they're like, you can, they can see it in the distance. So I can see Rebirth either starting cutscene and then you're out in the open world and then like 
you know, just to maybe fight some weak enemies just before you get to calm. Or maybe you just get a, a big chunk of cutscenes and you're all and you're in calm and maybe like there's stuff to do there straight away. I don't know. Um I'm I am doing actually <laughs> happy birthday to you, Red Rich. <laughs> really, it's that good. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm pleased for you. I'm pleased for you, dude. Um enjoy it. So you just got these you just got these two days off, so you're just gonna go. I think the squid is doing the same. So she's just going uh hard for the next four days. And she'll be apparently back to work on Monday, but mm, you know. <laughs> it should be it should be part time from Monday. Uh she's saying <laughs> That's perfectly fine. And I think Ritz he's he's got a whole week from today. So he's back to work a week today, Thursday. So he's got all the rest of this week and the first you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday next week. Which I mean, you may have complete. You may you may complete it in that time. I don't. I don't know. It's hard to imagine like how much there is to it. But um, well, maybe not. But either way, even if you had completely, it's not gonna, like finished with you know. I think Ritz would be down for like doing multiple playthroughs. You know. But um, yeah, he said he's from when he does go back to work. He's got to go away for work for two weeks. So he's like got to go hard for the next week because I need to be off like a forced break for two weeks. But so uh, we shall see. But yeah, that's what she told me, Red Maid. She's going to go she's all day, every day. To, today, tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday. Then go and like do go get back to work on Monday. Like, but like do, but leave it be part time. Like do, <laughs> like do half work, half final fantasy which is perfectly acceptable i mean she should do whatever she wants honestly i would find that difficult i'd just be like i'm just not going to do anything until i have i've drained every drop from this game but um that's probably not it's not really not a good habit to get into but anyway enough about that i'm sure it's amazing and uh, maybe one day on this channel we'll um we should explore it ourselves but for now um yeah, Red Mage, I, I respect that, and that's how I like to do it as well. <clears throat> There'll be some people who've already completed it, right? There'll be some weirdos on, you know, and it's not for me to judge, because look at me, I'm a fucking weirdo, but... Some internet weirdos, some fucking nerds that are like, I completed it already, it only took me six hours. And everyone's, 99% of everyone else is like, can you can you shut up? We don't. I don't care. I'm trying to enjoy the game over here. There's no medals. There's not. You no one's making your certificate. Nobody gives a fuck. You've ruined the experience for yourself. You know. It's like if you got if you got a piece of you know chocolate cake or chocolate bar or ice cream. You know you go. Mm -hmm. uh, you know you got to savor it. You know if I see someone get like a fucking. It's like seeing someone get like a Snickers and just be like. Bleh. And, you know, and just like, and just like eat it as quickly as they possibly can. And they're just like making a mess and they're just like, and they're like did you enjoy that? And they, they, they don't know. It's like, you know, what you want, what you want to do is take Snickers and you like, you get a scalpel and you, um, a razor blade or <laughs> and you cut it into like a hundred pieces and eat one piece a day. <laughs> and uh, that's what, no, you're just going to eat it all on that day, but. Yo, Jess. Hello, Jess. How you doing, my dear? Are you well? Hope you are. Um, are you good? Uh, have you, um, have you, uh, are you working today, Jess? Or, uh, have you already finished for today? I hope you, hope you're good. Um, but yeah, Vagrant Story. So, yeah, I, I watched the, um, the video you sent me, uh, Red Mage. Uh, very helpful. It was actually made by the same guy who made the video that Cage sent me for Final Fantasy Tactics. So, uh, very helpful. Lots of information. Maybe a bit too much information. So I haven't like retained every single nuance of everything, but I've got like a good vibe. And as we load up the game and I start looking at menus and stuff, I'll try and explain for, you know, as someone who doesn't know to people, you know, the audience that maybe knows even less than I do. And we'll try to figure it out together. Now, because we're playing on an emulator, we do have safe states. So, you know, I can... It's not like we can do any wrong, in essence, right? As long as I'm, 
careful. No, and there's like a, which I don't want to like abuse safe states. There's a there's a save point system in the game, right? Much like you would expect from RPGs of um this era. So it shouldn't be a problem. It's just getting to grips with how things work. But it's it's very strange. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm going to Red Mage. Um, excellent, Jess. Pleased to hear it. But yeah, hope work is going well. I'm all right. All right. I, I haven't just started today because I uh, my sleep was a bit janky last night. Wild, wild, busy, busy, busy dreams. Very unnecessary. What? It's like why? Sleep is the time you're supposed to not be doing stuff. <laughs> Running around doing stuff. Yeah, never mind. But here we are. That's fine. But yeah, Jess, we're starting a new game today, which is a Red Mage, Red Mage's Choice, um, called Vagrant Story. It's a PS1 game released in two, the year 2000. Um, and it's a bit of a cult classic. I never played it, but it's got a reputation for being very awkward and difficult. Um, but yeah, so I've, uh, I've got a bit of a primer, but I'm excited about it because I don't know what to expect. But there is also the caveat that if I'm really finding it too awkward or whatever, I, you know, I will just no power of it. But I'm going to do my very best. I'm, I'm far more hopeful about it because I wasn't expecting to no power of Final Fantasy Tactics. I was like, okay, this should be fun. And, you know, whereas coming into Vagrant Story, I, I, I know the the reputation of it so i feel like i'm more kind of like mentally prepared if that makes sense like if things get like really fucking difficult for any reason i'm not going to be surprised whereas in tactics i was like oh why is the why is the game raping me i mean <laughs> i'm like what but it wasn't just the difficulty level in uh tactics it was what i feel are broken systems quite frankly and a cage will cage will probably <laughs> Fucking hate me for that, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I intend to. So I don't think he, I don't know if you level up by experience points exactly, but the progression system seems to be that you. It's all it's all about equipment. It's all about weapons and armors. Um, it's about collecting stuff, crafting stuff, combining stuff together. You need to repair armor and stuff um and the main kind of progression is i think basically your, your weapons the more you use them the, like kind of the more powerful they get against the enemy types that you use them on however there is a caveat of that that they get weaker against other enemy types now i assume it doesn't perfectly balance out this actually balances out in a positive that's what I'm assuming, but it could be wrong. It could be it could balance out in a negative. But the the general g gist I get is you basically want to carry different weapon types with you and kind of try to mold different weapons into uh you know set up for different functions. Um, we'll we'll try and pick that all apart in the menu when we get into the game. Um, so you might have a weapon that you, you're trying to build that maybe naturally anyway, but also you're trying to build towards being good at, uh, a good weapon to kill humans with. And then you'll have trying to have a good weapon to kill undead enemies with, um, and, and so on and so forth. Um, there's like six or seven different enemy types, but, um, yeah, I, I am, um, yeah, yeah, that seemed to be the main thing. Um, something else uh, that is um, a, a factor. There are... I got the impression there's some kind of this strange puzzles in the game. Which I think mostly involve moving boxes around. Um, so there is one setting we definitely need to turn off, which is called the puzzle mode. Uh, and it's not that the puzzles aren't there. But if you have puzzle mode on, apparently it resets them. So if you go into a room and you've got to move some boxes around to get to the next room, and you do that, when you leave and then you come back later, you're passing through the same room, if you have the puzzle mode on, those boxes reset themselves and you have to put them in place again. And I'm like, 
yeah, and I'm like, that's, you know, I don't mind doing boxy puzzles, PS1 boxy puzzles, but <laughs> I, I, I don't want to do the, the same one multiple times, so we definitely want to turn that setting off, that seems redundant to me personally, each of their own though. But yeah, and so uh, also um, it's like a, a comprehensive map and it's about exploration. So it's kind of, it sounds like, it's almost like a cross between my impression. Imagine if Dark Souls was made in the year 2000 and then you cross that with Resident Evil. Because specifically you kind of like, you know, you're in like a, a map with what seems to be like rooms and like there's a backtrack in and you explore here and you explore there and i think you even have like an item chest where you store your stuff at like safe rooms uh, where you i think you also do your crafting i think they call them workshops i think they said um and then you like you know you, you store your stuff there and all those boxes are linked for your storage so the the pure concept of it seems fascinating to me so this is what uh was most uh intriguing to me so i just looked up on the wiki so yeah we'll have a look at the wiki here uh vagrant to satori vagrant to story um uh action role-playing game developed and published by square before they were screenix and for the playstation it was released in 2000 it has been re-released on the playstation xbox for ps3 PlayStation Portable and PlayStation Vita. Um, was, Vagrant Story is primarily developed by the team responsible for Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, with Yasumi Matsuno serving as a producer, writer, and director. Okay, I want. Okay. Well, we'll okay, that's not too spoilery. We'll see all this in the opening cutscene, I think, but. Uh, the game takes place in the kingdom of Valendia and the ruined city of Leamond. Uh The story centers on Ashley Riot. Um, that's our protagonist who we play as, I guess. An elite agent known as a risk breaker who must travel to Leamond to uh, investigate the link between a cult leader and a senior Valendian parliament member, Duke Bard Bard Orba. Bard Orba. Uh, in the prologue, which I guess we're looking at. Ashley is blamed for murdering the Duke, and the game discloses the events that happened one week before. Okay. So he probably didn't really murder him, but we'll see. Um, uh, Vagrant Story is unique as a console action adventure role playing game in that it features no shops and no player interaction with other characters. Instead, the game focuses on weapon creation and modification, as well as elements of puzzle solving, solving and strategy. Think how. Cool. Uh, the game received a critical acclaim from gaming magazines and websites, with some calling it one of the greatest games ever made. Now, this, thank you, Red Major. Well, this caught my interest. I was like, what the? F that's a link on Wikipedia. So, click the link. So, this is the Wikipedia list of video games considered the best <laughs> literally that's the name of the the page what the fuck consider, how do you consider the best so this uh to get on this list by wikipedia's definitions um a, a video game has to have uh been considered amongst the best of all time by multiple video game journalists or magazines um, with the minimum being six separate best, great, or greatest of all time. So for Vagrant Story to be on the list, it means that at the time it's released, or after the fact, if people have looked at it back, at least six gaming magazines or, you know, professional journalists have said it's one of the greatest games of all time. Now, if one person says, or one, you know, magazine or one journalist says, well, that game's the greatest of all time all time motherfucker you just like whatever but if multiples and a minimum of six that's you know this there's, there's something to that it doesn't mean that i'm gonna like it it doesn't mean that you're gonna like it um you know but uh 
you know, like, it's, it's a relative of its time. For example, those six reviews that say it's one of the greatest games of all time may have all happened when it's released. And in retrospect, people are like, oh. Uh. Right. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But, um, I'm, uh, that, that kind of gives me, uh, some thought there. I'm like, oh my god, really? Um, and how, you know, not to mention, uh, games journalists and magazines will kind of throw around the whole, whole greatest of all time. And it's like, then they'll say that for like 500 different games. They're like, well, you can't have 500 different games that are the greatest of all time, can you? So, how about you shut up? Um, but <laughs> I hope you understand the point I'm making, though. Um, but yeah, we shall, uh, we shall see. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm excited. There's something else we need to do when we get into the game. Oh, yeah, that reminds me, uh, Red Mage. Right, yeah, yeah, thank you, thank you. I was meant to mention that, you've mentioned it already. Uh, Valendia is one of the continents in the world of Final Fantasy XII. So much like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, Vagrant Story also takes place in the world of Final Fantasy XII. So I don't know how it all came about that it was conceived, because Final Fantasy XII was actually released after Vagrant Story. And... Um... Final Fantasy Tactics. So I don't know how they conceived the setting and how it all came about, but it's in the same world and but, but presumably has no relation at all to either Tactics or 12, in essence, I assume. Um, For example, we know that according to Cage, at least, Final Fantasy Tactics takes place centuries before the events of Final Fantasy XII, and in essence has zero relation to anything that goes goes on. Which is fine, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just kind of, I think it's more like a a vibe. Um, so where does Vagrant Story take place? Is it at the same time as Tactics? Is it in in between Tactics and Twelve? Is it the same time as Twelve? Is it before Tactics? Is it after Twelve? Nobody knows, and also the kind of the gist is it doesn't actually matter, it doesn't make any difference. Um, really, truly, so, um, but yeah, fasc fascinating thing to think about. Uh, one final thing, um, when we get into the game, this is the first tip in the video. So there is no proper, like, intro cutscene to the game. Well, there is, but not in the sense that you think. So you, most mod old games and modern games is that when you hit new game on the main menu, you get thrown into the first cutscene. And there might be a bit of that. But you only get like a small percentage of it. So most of the, the introduction cutscenes are from the main menu. So you know when you leave the main menu idle, it'll play content from the game. You know, that's quite... Not so much in modern games, but it's very reminiscent of older games. So you have to do that. Uh, or you kind of miss what's going on in the story. So we, when we get to the main menu, we have to leave a few seconds. Then it will play kind of the hype theatrical FMV graphics and be like, oh. Then it goes back to the main menu. Then you have to leave it idle again. Then it will give you the uh, actual kind of intro cutscene explaining what the fuck is going on in the story, which goes on for a couple of minutes. I have to make sure not to press any buttons on the controller. So that's when we're going to get the story of what is going on. Then it goes back to the main menu, but that's it. That's not it. That's not the end of it. Then you have to leave it idle for a second. Thank you for your luck, Red Mage. Uh, don't rage quit to get back in. <laughs> then it plays the hype FMV again. So we're going to have to watch that twice. Then it goes back to the main menu. Then you leave it idle. And then it plays another story kind of based cutscene uh, thing before you get started. So we have to like sit through all that just to try and figure out what the fuck is going on. But, um. <clears throat> okay, so it takes place. 
Yeah, I mean, I guess I would assume that's where Red Ranger is looking, but it would, um, you would get tactics, tactics to whatever other tactics, then Vagrant Story, and all of that stuff is in the, in times of your, I don't know, well, we'll watch, we'll watch it twice anyway, I don't care. Um, it's all good, but anyway, I don't know that I have too much more to rant about, or explain about it. So I think it's finally time to do it. Let's see if Vagrant Story is one of the all-time greatest games ever made. And if not, I need to hunt down the six people that said that and have a word with them. <laughs> I said, actually, there's only even more I need to... Um, yeah, let's have a look at see what else is on the wiki. Um... Okay, you can switch to third first person mode. We don't need to do that. Uh, maybe we do. I don't know. Uh, Ash can run, jump, push crates and cubes to navigate around obstacles and puzzles and platform elements. Um, <clears throat> mm. See if there's a bit more on the reception there. Wow, okay. <clears throat> Uh, Metacritic says the game received critical, uh, sorry, universal acclaim. Well, I don't know, because there's very, all the people that love it, surely there's people that didn't, but, um, I mean, yeah, it's got like 92% on Metacritic, which is pretty wild. Hmm. Okay. I'm sort of fucking around. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they they got over that eventually, didn't they, Red Mage? All right, cool. Um, let me go ahead and change this. <clears throat> I bet no one else is streaming this right now, right? No. That's just fine. <laughs> That's good, that's good. In fact, that's good, just in case anyone's like, oh, fuck, oh, where's this, where's this guy streaming Fragrant Story? We'll find out. Yeah, cult classic as you can get, I guess is the idea. Um, here we go, Duck Station. Oh, it looks so nice as well. It's, it's shocking how good it looks. Okay, I think I've got uh, our scene set up. Um, full boot. Here we go. Yeah, Doug Station probably seems like the nicest emulator I've ever seen. Oh, okay. Yeah, it pauses when I get out of the menu. There, that's cool. That's cool. PlayStation, maybe. Oh, why not? God, it's been a hot minute since I've heard that. Sounds good.
so yeah, I just I just posted a little picture of our protagonist, uh, Ashley, and is that his girlfriend? Be fellow respirator agent. Ooh, loud. That's rather loud. Let me <laughs> let me turn this down slightly for my particular tastes. Fucking hell. Unless there's Unless there's internal audio options in uh in uh the duck station. Let me have a look, sorry. Um Uh output volume. There we go. Okay. Let me turn that down to fifty percent. Okay, I see weapons, a crossbow, a lady dancing in flames, she's got a nice tap too, and a dragon. She looks like she might be dangerous. There we go, that's the hype intro. <coughs> Not too much going on there. We saw a scantily clad dancing lady. We saw a dragon and we saw some weapons. The, uh, the graphical upgrades, it looks tidy. Fuck, right. So I don't touch the controller. I'm going to get the in our intro starting in a moment. <clears throat> go so weird that it would choose to do it like this you should get all this when the, you hit a new game but whatever let's see vkp headquarters uh valnane six hours have passed since the occupation of the duke's manor by one sydney losterot uh founder and leader of and his, he and his allies have taken the Duke's family and servants hostage. They hold the manor as we speak. To what purpose? The music takes on. The scum make two demands. The release of their imprisoned comrades and the abdication of Cardinal uh, Bas Basiton. Yet their religious freedom within limits is protected. On what pretext shall we apprehend them? We need no pretext. Uh, Mullen Camp is a, a pack of rogues. We believe them responsible for the attempt on our sovereign's life, this Yule Tide past. And the VKP will not free their comrades? Certainly not. Do you know how many agents gave their lives? All because of this religious freedom. Too much freedom, too many gods. Let those cultist cur dogs run loose and they will bite you. <laughs> cur dogs. <laughs> Gods, while our parliament cowards. Strike that outburst from the record. Yes, my lord. <laughs> our cult's not the Templar's concern. Why must we be involved? Our inquisitors have found that Mullen Camp's coin comes from the captive Duke himself. Indeed. Valendia might still be at uh, war with itself were it not for the Duke's uh, heroism, yet he wields much of his power from the shadows. Even after his retirement, his grip on Parliament is unrelenting. We have watched him long enough, now it is time to act. Furthermore, we must find out why the Cardinal sent his blades to deal with this incident without our approval. Inquisitor Heldrich will explain. You will go to the Greylands immediately. A map of the manor grounds is in your carriage. I've sent one of my agents ahead. She will fill you in when you arrive. She? I'm sexist. Agent uh, Malos. He's like, she? You can't be in. <laughs> Duke Bardorba's Bardor manor in the Greylands. Two in the morning. And it's so tidy. Obviously, it's smoothed out graphics, but still. 
This is Malos. So that's our guy, Ashley. Agent Riot, I presume. They're special agents. I'm your partner, uh, Callow Merlos. So I'm going to pause it there a second. So, um... So we don't know what's fully gone on the vents, but in, in the, the continent of Valendia or wherever, so there's been a war, a civil war, that I'm not sure if it's still going on. I think it's still going on. Um, you've got this Duke Bar, uh, Bardosa. Bar, yeah, not, I want to say Barbosa, but <laughs> Bardos, Bardos Bar. I'd, I'd, we'll get that, pick it up in a minute. But, um, so he's some kind of war hero. So he's got, so the, the parliament, the, presumably the politicians of the land are, um, well, if it's in civil war, I don't know what that means, but, exactly, you know, who's, who's got what power, I don't know, but. So he is suspected of, like, being part of a cult, or, like, running a cult, and he's got weird cultists going, the, uh, the priest guy there was like, ah, you know, the stupid religious freedom. So this is, like, some new thing that has been relatively new thing um which is obviously some people have seen as a good thing oh religious freedom that makes sense but um this guy is like well this caused too much grief so you know we shouldn't have done that um uh however uh even though this guy is suspected of pulling strings in parliament and maybe being the head of a cult his, the cultists that he may or may not be in charge of have t kind of taken over, have kind of like kid taken his him and his family hostage, which is, is weird. It's it seems convoluted so far, but very intriguing. We shall see. Anyway, back to it. Uh, please call me Cal. How was your journey, Cal? Uh, how many are there? <laughs> Actually, sure. Our scouts support a dozen men. Of course, we have yet to spot Sydney, and there'll be more inside the manor. Sydney, the cult, the leader of the t cult. This <laughs> boy, it's not the most intimidating of names. But we'll see. Hostages, including the Duke's family and servants, thirty-four. Thankfully, the Duke himself was away at the time. Okay, the Duke was not taken captive. Nay. How fair the blades, of course. So, <coughs> um, the other thing we have the cardinal, uh, who cardinal of what I'm going to assume the religious head of the main church of the land has sent his military forces to intervene outside of for what ends? Who knows? Outside of, uh the jurisdiction of parliament so just like i just got heard about the situation just uh, they just acted on it without talking to parliament and the, the parliament are kind of like oh these mother you know fuck the fucking cardinal what's, what's he doing so what is actually the clearly clearly there's more here than meets the eye probably on several levels regardless our character ashley riot he is a he's a risk breaker uh special agent secret urgent man kind of thing um as as is cal here um so th they've been sent by parliament to because it's like there's hostages and it's a tricky situation and there's like a lack of information about what is actually going on here they've been sent in kind of uh, presumably stealthily subtly to try and figure out what the fuck is going on and pre um, well it's hard to know what the risk breakers um jurisdictional responsibilities are or skill sets but the impression i'm getting is that they have some degree of um what's the word uh because uh oh, what's the word well, <clears throat> i can't think of the word i know there's a word for it they have some degree of um make you know Take, you know, much like fucking James Bond. James Bond just turns up and he, he just decides what he's going to do about the situation. <laughs> so I think, like, while Ashley's been sent in to find out what is going on, he has the skills and the knowledge and the um the leeway 
the, the kind of the blessing of Parliament to kind of decide for himself what he thinks is the best thing to do. Uh, I guess primarily he's just got to, the idea is to get in there, gather information, presumably shut down the cultists and save the hostages, I would assume. But again, I think there's far more going on here than meets the eye. Um, let's find out. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, with the hostages inside, direct action is perilous. Yeah, you want the hostages to die. We must negotiate with Sydney while we collect information to aid our final fantasy. Oh, okay, and now the mansion is on fire. What is this? It seems the siege has been gone. So it's presumably the blades attacking the colourists. Cardinal's blades have made them move. We've given, uh, we've given no such order. Their actions in direct defiance of our authority. Perhaps their hand was forced? Wait, where are you going? The blades have provided the perfect distraction. It's far too dangerous. We must wait for reinforcements. It's a bit late for that. Reinforcements? It's like we're secret agents. I am the reinforcements. <laughs> Right, so actually, Riot, he's like, he's a, he, whether he actually is a bad man or not, he certainly regards himself as being a bad man. <laughs> right. I mean, look at his look at his vest and his hair. Right, I mean. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, cool. Go sit, sit through the hype. Drag him again. We'll have to fight that dragon, aren't we? Fuck it now. <laughs> I'm already scared. Oh, it seems like I actually knows how to swing the sword around. And maybe also fire a crossbow. You need to watch out for her, Ash, because, um,. She's, she's going to try and fuck you over, I'm sure. Okay. So far, very intriguing. That, uh, that music even sounds like Final Fantasy Tactics, doesn't it? <clears throat> What's this saying that the writing there? For it must feed on the flesh of others, uh, lest it return to the... I don't know what... The, there's some creep... There's going to be some weird creepy shit going on. I'll bet. Yeah, so who are these cultists? What, you know, why are they taking people hostage? I don't... We'll see. Right, let me get some more info now. <clears throat> We've received a report from the Valendia Knights of the Peace regarding an unsolved felony. Sorry, I'm that. It reads, uh, Ashley Wright, an agent of the Risk Breaker Militia, has murdered a senior member of Parliament, uh, Duke Barb Dorba. Dorba. Orba. Bard Orba. There we go. Bard Orba. I remember Bard. The Orba Bard. Right. Uh, it's still at large. So the, uh, the Duke, Bard Orba, was the one whose this place, whose mansion this is, whose, um, Family's been taken hostage. So presumably, whatever events it, it, uh, happen after he's walked in there, some point after the fact, it's claimed, it's believed that he officially, there's a wanted, there's a fucking bounty on his head, um, that he is the one who's murdered the, the Duke. Now, either it's bullshit and he's not murdered the Duke and he's been framed, or... He did murder the Duke because the Duke was like some kind of fucking, e fucking insane, like evil demon thing, and <laughs> nobody is aware of that fact. Hmm. We'll see.
And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm just going to turn the volume down to a, just a little bit more again. God, this... The interface on... Um, I'll just turn it down to 40%. That's, that's good enough. Um, the interface on uh, the fucking duck station is amazing. Show them who they're dealing with. Torch the chambers and kill the hostages. Right, so this is Sydney. These, these are the, clearly the fucking colours. Oh shit, and there's Ashley's in here already. Check his hair out. <laughs> Let's finish this before the blades arrive. Oh, come on, that's a great man. Who goes there? The incident began with the occupation of Duke's Manor a week ago. Okay, who's this guy? Just stamping someone. Are these the blades, maybe? Have you found Sydney? Not yet, sir. It's, it's still pretty fucking loud. <laughs> maybe it's just maybe it's just me. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> okay, put it down to thirty percent. There we go. Put out the fire, so we'll lose the manor, and all will be split the knights into two groups: one to douse the blaze, the other to exterminate the traitors. Right away, sir. So I guess this is this whoever this guy is the leader of the blades that were attacked. Technically, our ally. Where are you, Sydney? Uh, Sydney, leader of the occupying cult group Mullen Camp. Okay, so Mullen Camp is the name of the cultist. Is the cult took hostages, demanding the resignation of the cardinal and the release of prisoners. Okay. Now, obviously, taking people hostage and being a terrorist is never a good thing. We, so, we know so very little about this uh, world and this setting and what is going on politically. Maybe Sydney and uh, Mullenkamp are somewhat justified. You're not justified in taking hostages and killing people. I don't believe that. But maybe what they're fighting for, there is a good reason they're fighting for it. We'll see. Oh, maybe this is Sydney. And uh, Sydney's not even wearing a shirt, <laughs> right? He's, he's just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do you one better, Ashley. Ashley's wearing the barest minimum vest. Uh, Sydney's like, I, I don't know, fuck that. I'll, just, <laughs> I'll have fully armoured up gauntlets and arms. No, a completely uncovered torso. <laughs> not, not there to judge. Curse the Duke. Where's he hidden it? Oh. Okay, so it's so that their demand is for the cardinal to step down, and they want some prisoners released. But that's not it. That they they may be the primary and secondary things they want, or they might not be. They may be the secondary and tertiary things they want. They're something, some object or something, or something that could be hidden on the grounds. That Sydney is looking for. Um, you sure the Duke really has it? Does the damn thing even exist? You doubt me, Hardin. You doubt my power. <laughs> okay. Sydney's like, I have the power of having my chest unclothed. Do you doubt that? <laughs> what was the felon Sydney's true objective? That seems to be the most important question right now. And where on earth are those who escaped? Okay, so some of the some of the hostages have escaped, maybe? Because that's the thing. Maybe if that's not his main priority, I don't know. But if they've... I guess they've only been in the building, like, a day. And we know from as the storytelling that they're going to be in here for, like, a week. So, I don't know. It's very curious.
Forgive me, I did not intend. But, but, Sydney, any longer and there'll be no escape for us. Stop your whimpering. You'd come this far only to leave empty-handed. Now search. Right, so I, the impression I'm getting of Hardin is Hardin's maybe like Sydney's second in command. His right-hand man. Um, so while he's committed to the cause, Hardin is thinking like, we need to decide well he's he just ordered the execution of all the hostages so he's like we're, we're done here let's cut our losses get the fuck out of here um and that whatever the thing that sydney's l desperately looking for hardin's like does it even it, it exist like it's some kind of m mythical treasure or something and sydney's response to that is basically like, don't fucking doubt me son uh, how how dare you? Um, but Hardin's thinking like his main priority is like okay we've we've done the best we can with this situation. Now it's time to cut our losses and get the fuck out of here with our lives. You know we by hanging around looking for this thing, Sydney, we may actually just uh, you know cause our own deaths by doing that. Well, Sydney's response is look in for a penny, in for a pound. We fucking we've started this. Even if we end up dying, we we are all in now, buddy. So don't you dare second guess me. I'm your boss. That's that's what I'm getting from it. Only Agent Riot, once our dear comrade, can answer these questions. Once our dear comrade. As in because they feel that he's the one responsible for the Duke's murder. Spare no effort finding him. I'm sure, I'm sure they I'm sure they won't. Don't move, Sydney. Oh, okay, cool. So Ash just caught up with them. I've got a bow gun aimed at your heart. You're no knight, are you? Now turn round slowly. This is an unfortunate turn of events. Sydney! Hold it! Oh wow. Okay. What's going on? You're almost certainly dead. So, still think the dead only rise in fairy tales. What? Oh my god, it's all going on. Okay, so clearly they're both good at fighting, but... So I don't know if that, that crossbow bolt hit Sydney there. But the, the way that Ashley is um, reacting is kind of suggests it did. And now Sydney's like, very cryptically, essentially saying... You know, Ashley's like, oh, you should be dead. And Sydney's response is, "Who's well, to say I'm not? <laughs> I right? <laughs> I'm, I've come back from the dead, mate. Get over it." And now the the fucking uh, ceiling is caving in with what this is. I think it is. Also, it's a peculiar rumor that many there saw a dragon as the Duke's residence burned. Oh my god! My apologies. I've no time to toy with you. Oh my god. This other dragon's fucked up. It's got like arrows stabbed in it or something. There we go. Right, I saw a sh There we go. <laughs> It's like full on trailer. Okay. Cool. Okay. Good luck and Godspeed. It's like. It's, <laughs> it's going to say you died as well. When <laughs> it's, it's, it knows you're going to have a tough time with it. So I think that's it, isn't it? I think. Okay. So let's look at these. Vibration off, of course. Stereo. New game. Okay. So it might be. Something of a cutscene as we go into this. I got some fucking menus to pick up. Let's see if I can understand it all. <clears throat> okay, so this is what half an hour after that, or at least half an hour after he met with Cal. So I assume that scene is directly after he wanders off from Cal, right? <laughs>
I don't think we got this guy's name yet, did we? Okay, so this is like a reiteration of... Okay, cool. Have you found Sydney? Oh, do I need to be uh, pressing the button through these? Yeah, I do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That's handy. Not yet, sir. Put out the fires, or we'll lose the manor, and all will be for naught. Split the knights into two groups, one to douse the blaze, and the other to exterminate the traitors. Right away, sir. <clears throat> Where are you, Sydney? for his hair. <laughs> Show them who they're dealing with. Torch the chambers and kill the hostages. I Just thought, yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll go... Maybe there's like some more information in the previous one. I think that's what the video said. So we're getting the same cutscene, but... <clears throat> this is like the more extended version. We've no time! Let's finish this before the blades arrive. They're, they're already here, they just haven't found you yet. Who goes there? Probably gonna be your death, we didn't see what happened, but I assume these guys get yeeted. Right? Here we go. Oh, shit, and we're fighting already. Okay. Damn. Um, okay, cool, cool. So you've got a percentage chance of... Right, let's try and pick up what we've got up here. So you can see um, Ashley's hit points uh, and an MP up in the top left there. Now, risk is a zero. So risk is a thing that you build up over time in combat. Um, and I believe it kind of just goes up naturally the longer you're in combat. And the more you attack um and the higher the risk i believe um <clears throat> excuse me the uh the more the literate the more like the easier ashley is to hit the more damage he takes and the less accurate he is to attack so um you kind of want to uh you know finish up uh, as soon as possible so um down the bottom here i'm just going to see i've hit the attack button here to um pause time or select target so you can as you can see you can target uh or actually himself and all humanoid targets they are split up by uh body legs head left and right arm and i think everyone in the game is right-handed that's the impression i've got so depending on what body parts you uh damage um, you, uh, you can, like, fuck them up. So if you fuck up somebody's legs, they, um, they, they, uh, move. You know, their movement is gimped. Uh, I think if you fuck up their body, um, you, uh, you can, uh, lessen, like, increase the risk on them. 
because risk is not only a factor that affects Ashley, it's um, enemies as well. Head apparently fucks with magic users. Um, left arm is like their defense, even though this guy doesn't have a shield or anything. And the right arm is obviously their attack. Uh, so we go down the bottom. It tells you the hit points of each body part and the chance, presumably, to hit that body part. Um, so I don't know if they have like a total run of hit points or whatever. So I'm going to try and hit the guy's sword arm, I think. 95% chance to hit and see what happens. So um, below that, um, target single aged physical human. Um, so I think that's actually the characteristics, not of the target, actually, but of the weapon Ashley is currently using. I'm not sure for certain. I'm going to try and hit... I'm, actually, I wonder if this is the time I should <laughs> do my first safe state here. Um, there we are. God, the, the fucking um, duck station is amazing. Um, so I'm going to try hitting his sword arm. It's going to make him drop his sword or, f or fuck up his aim or something. Okay. No targeting range, so I have to move towards him to fit him off. So we actually got hit there for eight and, it did, and gave us one point of risk. Okay, so that guy's running away. So I'm going to hit this other guy here, I guess, looks like. Let me try and hit him in the leg. Oh, wow, 90 hit points. Oh, did I just yeet him? Yeah, this guy's running away. Jesus Christ. Uh, so he doesn't really tell me uh, where he's at. But um, let me hit this guy on the legs as well. Or maybe I'll just double down his arm again. Yeah, okay, cool. I just yeeted those two guys. So this seems to be uh, first battle. Done and done. Although I think that was kind of a gimme. <laughs> So he did take 8 hit points of damage, but he seems to have 250 hit points, so that's not too much, is it? Alright, so this is presumably what we're going to have for the, sh the little chat with Sydney, right? Well, have you found it? It's no use. There's nothing like that here. Anywhere. Oh, my brother's cooking something nice. Keep looking, damn you. I'm telling you, Sydney. The knights are nearly upon us. We must think about running away now. Stop your whimpering. You've come this far only to leave empty handed. Now search. <clears throat> what are they looking for? Curse the Duke. Where's he hidden it? Are you sure the Duke really has it? Does the damn thing even exist? You doubt me, Hardin. You doubt my power! F forgive me, I did not intend to anger you, because I'm terrified of you. But Sydney, any longer and there'll be no escape for us. I don't think he cares, does he? Fine, then. Bring the boy and come with me. Okay, when he says the boy, I assume he means one of the hostages. Maybe the most important hostage. Maybe the son of the Duke. He's like, okay, let's compromise. I'm still going to go look for this thing. Interesting tattoo he's got on his back, which I think might be the same tattoo the late dancing lady had in the hype intro. Don't move, Sydney. Of a bow gun, bow gun aimed at your heart. Where you come from? Now turn round slowly. You're no knight, are you? Bind your legs with that rope. Ah, risk breaker, a royal guard dog. Did you not hear me? Bind yourself now.
This is an unfortunate turn of events. Hold it! Oh, there we go. Yes, so we soon get shot. So he went for his blade. And uh, Ashley's like, okay, well, fuck you then, buddy. I'll kill you. Or, well, obviously he didn't really, did he? Sydney! I love you! Okay, that's the Duke son. Oh. I... I'm the one you want. Harding, go quickly. Go to Leomond. You, stop! Right, so they both got impressive fighting skills. Here's the other one. What's going on? You are most certainly dead. Leave the back from the grave stuff to the fairy tales. Except Ritz, how you doing there, buddy? No, no, what's going on? Are you just taking a quick break? You're on your lunch break. Ooh. Okay, well, he's ble he bleeds, and he seems to be hurt. You've given me quite a scratch. Show a little more respect for fairy tales, Risk Breaker. To talk. Oh shit! The dragon's his friend. Oh, I thought it just turned up randomly. I guess not. But he's all, he's all injured and shit. Unless I guess it was maybe it was fighting um the blades. I suppose it's got arrows stuck in it. My apologies. I've no time to toy with you. Uh, uh, it's Saul. How you doing there? Are you well? Welcome in. I don't know, like, Sydney almost shown some dick for you there. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, you played nine hours. How is it, Ritz? It's a bit of shit, innit? It's, it's no good. I'm gonna get a refund. Oh, fuck, we're fighting this thing. Special attack fire breath. Oh, sh shit. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, now, do we want to hit in the head? Hit in the neck? Hit in the body or its leg? Um, just maybe just cut it right in the fucking neck, right? Or just stab it right in the, the head. Let me stab it in the head. And again. Well, you better... You better do something. You're about to get shanked up, right? I see my wrist going up. Oh, I didn't like that. He's already injured, though, isn't he? Okay. Did you just finish it off there, actually? Slashed at its face a couple of times. Okay, it was clearly already injured, wasn't it? And Ashley is apparently a bad man. Um, <clears throat> but yes, Sydney, Hardin, and their hostage, which I'm assuming is the Duke's son, have all been taken. And they've gone to uh, uh, Leomond. Which I thought that was, uh, I guess... That's not this place, is it? <laughs> oh, Ritz, I'm so pleased for you, buddy. Yeah, Red Mage was in here a minute ago. He was telling me it's uh, fucking amazing. Leia Mond. Mm. That's where you gotta go, bro. Okay. 
Congratulations, buddy. Very good story. There we go. Okay. Um, fascinating. It's very intriguing. So I'm going to read. Pause that to read this so I don't miss it. Um, the body is but a vessel for the soul. A puppet which bends to the soul's tyranny. And lo, the body is not eternal. For it must feed on the flesh of others. Lest it return to the dust whence it came. Therefore must the soul deceive, despise, and murder men. AJ DeWi, I don't know who that is, but... Um, okay, yeah, so that was... I, I'd read a, a section of that um, on the art screen. Okay. Um, interesting. Well, that's got to do with anything. A, a lot, presumably. So yeah, if you're a living creature, you must feed on other living creatures to survive. Um, therefore, the soul must deceive, despise, and murder. I mean, I don't know if you have to do any of that. But so, AJ Durai thinks so, at the very least. Okay. There we go, okay. I didn't even pause it then, do I? <laughs> So, the knights who came were not the king's men, but the cardinals. Indeed. Knights of the Cross, led by uh, uh, Gildenstern, my lord. Gildenstern, so I assume that was the guy with the rapier who has given the orders. Uh, the Crimson Blades, in direct service to the cardinal. Uh, Duke Bard, or Bard Orber's second residence. So this is the duke, presumably. Yeah, because he said he wasn't. At his main residence. Just chilling in bed. Uh, Gildenstern led his men toward Leia Mond in pursuit of Sydney. So is this Leia Mond? Right, yeah, yeah. So if we if we know that Sydney's looking for some special hidden item or relic or something that the Duke apparently has, and it wasn't as far they they searched presumably top to bottom the the residence, then it seemed like uh Sydney was like, oh, well, it's not here. It's got to be in his other place. The place that he himself is actually currently hiding at. Uh, Lay them on. So this is presumably here and where they're going. So <laughs> everyone is converging on here. Sydney with his uh, buddy Hardin and presumably one of the hostages, the boy. I'm, I'm going to assume it's the Duke's son or grandson. I don't know. Um, they're on the way. Obviously, Ashley is on the way to get after Sydney. And um, the Crimson Blades are also chasing after Sydney as well. And they're all converging on this place. Um, hello there. Squ uh, Square off the golden JR. Oh, Square soft. <laughs> I was going to do that. How are you doing there? Um, <clears throat> one hit wonder, is it? Yes, yeah, so I've heard. Um, mm, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Hmm. So obviously you're a fan. Um, mm. oh, okay, interesting, interesting. I see. Okay. So is he yeah, or is he just old? Is he just like... <laughs> I'm just going to stay in bed today. Uh, send one of your men uh, in the armour of these holy knights set fire to the manor. Okay. And what's that going to achieve? So dress up one of it. Fire, my liege. This guy didn't hear it. Didn't, this guy didn't get the memo. The fool Sydney used his wyvern. Okay, yeah, he did seem like a, a small dragon, didn't it? And also, why has Sydney got a pet wyvern? And why? And why does the Duke know about any of this? It's like he himself knows more than. It's like he, it seems like the Duke himself knows what Sydney's after, right? <clears throat> Oh, we can't have witnesses telling the world now, can we? And that's us. But the hostages, your family, irrelevant. <laughs> He's like, I don't give a fuck. Fuck my family. I don't. Burn it. Burn it to the ground. Um. Yes, my lord. <laughs> I'll. I'll go. Yeah. What of Parliament? Uh, the VKP, which is the Valendian Knights of the Peace. So I guess that's the military of the of Parliament. 
have formed a squad to deal with the felons. The risk breakers. Those meddling fools. Your will, my lord? Leamond is yours. Let no one out of the town. You can deal with Sydney and the blades there. And Parliament? I'll deal with those watchdogs. They won't trouble you further. And the long, young Lord Joshua. So I assume that's the kid, right? Burn him as well. <laughs> oh. Now, unless that's not him, I don't know. Here's my light, my soul. If aught should befall him. Which, uh... <laughs> so he's like, he doesn't give a shit about most of his family, but he cares about... Lord, uh, young Lord uh, Joshua. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, uh, what, what's happened to uh, Matsunai then? Just getting on in years. That's fair. Hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. But I guess it's it's one of those things. It's just I don't know. It's not going to happen, is it? Maybe. It, Maybe 50 years from now, AI will just do a remake. <laughs> As you wish, my lord. Okay, so that's, yeah, it's going to be Joshua, right? He creepy, creepy looking fuck. Oh, no, the Jew, not Joshua. <laughs> Am I fated to rotten wither? Even as I breathe? Yeah, well, I don't like your attitude, buddy, so... Maybe. Interesting. 11.42 a.m. Okay. Someone got one in the neck. Fuck it. Oh, it's just a cow. So let me just jump over there just in case it's going over pretty quickly. <clears throat> right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. They gotta they gotta make sure they make the money back, haven't they? If they uh if they're gonna uh they're gonna take a risk. Um Leomond is an old town. That's the name of the town with a history of over two thousand years. This walls have seen many battles. They are stronger than the mightiest forts of Valendia. As the sun wheels through the sky, the beauty of their shifting colours surpasses that of any palace. Okay. Ancient town. Um, many battles. Mighty walls. And it's beautiful. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, sometimes you have to press the button. Sometimes it just goes, Red Major, I've noticed. Don't, don't want to miss any of that. Uh, the Grand Cathedral that towers over... Oh, sorry. Grand Cathedral that towers over the, uh, the town centre is a symbol of Leomond's indomitable spirit. It's the holy ground of the devout Iocust uh, 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 priesthood. At its height, uh, Leomond was a thriving community, more than 5,000 people strong. 25 years ago, a great earthquake brought that chapter in Leomond's history to a close. Fascinating that... This is a town that's 2,000 years old, but has never, like, expanded out. Did they say it was on an island as well? I don't know. That w which, that would make sense. Um, but you'd think at any kind of established town, if it kept going, more people would move there and live there, and it'd eventually become a city, but I guess not. <clears> hmm. <throat> oh, yeah, could you imagine? Could you imagine? They just make it like a Souls-like soul game with its own... Vibe. You never say never. Never say never there. Well, okay, as well. The two sentinels are dead, murdered. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, it seems like somebody's not really phased by anything. Like when the weapon came down, <laughs> he's just like, "Okay, cool, I'm fighting this now. <laughs> this is the only way in." 
Uh, there's a giant cr uh, great crevasse uh, preventing entry above ground. And from the sea. Excuse me. Uh, nay, sunken reefs that rose during the earthquake uh, form a gauntlet of whirlpool whirlpools. Too dangerous. Oh, damn, okay. You do know we sent agents in, thinking uh, those ruins were the Mullen Camp base. Not one returned. Not on account of the whirlpools, I'd wager. Indeed. Surely it was men who killed them. Uh, how was it down there? Come down and see for yourself. Uh, according to the survivors, our comrade Agent Riot uh, headed out for Leomond before noon. Of course, the reports were vague, and we cannot deny the possibility of inaccuracies, no doubt. Yet given that there is only one path to infiltrate Leomond, this office believes the reports to be valid. That seems reasonable. <coughs> yeah, 93 megabytes. In wild, right? Um. Hmm. Yeah, is that you think it would have got more uh, attention there, uh, Square, um, if they had uh, put it off a little bit and released on PS2? Yeah, I mean, I've because I'm using uh, an emulator here. I don't know. I've got like the kind of like the, the settings in the emulator, like, the graphics like smoothed out and stuff. It looks amazing. But even with that, even if you take that away, um, you can tell they've done a fantastic job with like the the graphics and animation of it, haven't they? Mm. Yeah, yeah, because um, because the PS2 was released what early 2001 was it? I know I got my PS2 um Christmas of 2001. It wasn't at release, but I think it was that same year. I think, if I recall correctly. What's this? Dead guys. Right, okay. That makes sense. That's what I'm here to find out. Indeed. It does seem well fortified for a wine cellar. Oh. Leomond's wineries once vied with the best of Valendia. Um, so... So this is like, I guess, so, so it is on an island and, um... We're essentially going under the ocean, like through a tunnel of catacombs i guess is the idea yeah no time for drinking wine though uh since they went out of production the remaining vintage are sell for a premium oh I'll pocket a few Go and sell it to anybody if you find any consider them yours <laughs> so i actually don't drink you plan to go alone an agent with no combat experience would just be a liability okay well that brings in the qu the, the question why is cow a risk breaker agent sent on this particular mission if she has no combat experience unless of course ashley's just being kind of like an asshole he's like you have no combat experience and she's like yeah i do and he's like not compared to me <laughs> I, I don't know. gotta have a damsel in distress right <laughs> even if it doesn't make sense tell me what you know about mullen camp and this sydney fellow uh, Sid Sydney Lost Taroy. Uh, I'm going to assume it's Taroy. Um, leader of the religious cult Mullenkamp. His real name and age are unknown, and he's, well, he's a fucking, he's undead, isn't he? I guess. <laughs> he's immortal, I don't know. One of many self-styled prophets of the apocalypse. So why would a cult missionary commit such a crime? I do not know what the Cardinal thinks, but the VKP believes he is no prophet. Indeed. He is in dark alliance with Duke Bardorba, who controls Parliament from behind the scenes. Okay, so that's what they suspect. Except that can't... Maybe that was the case. And obviously we saw the Duke speaking about Sydney. So maybe they were allies for a time. And now Sydney's gone, fuck you, Duke. I want that special thing that you have. Where I'm assuming it's some kind of like magic item or relic or something that has untold power. Um, that's that's the vibe because he like well, he wouldn't have killed his family, would he, and taken them hostage? And 
you know, and kidnapped his son, right? The cult is but a front. Yeah, maybe. Perhaps this incident is a sign of some falling out between the two. Or merely another of the Colonel's witch hunts. Okay, so the Colonel's known to be a bit heavy-handed, I guess. There are many would-be prophets in the land these days, but Sydney is different. His prophecies ring true, uh, and those enraptured by the, uh, uh... Sorry, enraptured by the way he, he hums revelations. Um... As though they were simple ballads. Okay, so he's, he's not your typical uh, cult leader. All say the same. He is a miracle. Well, we, we know he can't die. That's, 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 he might be the real deal. In any case, he has a strange power. He can guess the past of those he meets. Uh, he can even read hearts. Hmm. They say his charisma is such that his followers offer both body and soul to him. Sounds like you can't take him with him yourself. <laughs> I, I don't think that's... Agent Riot! How dare you, Incendio? <laughs> if I do not return by the morrow's eve, inform HQ, won't you? Okay, so it's midday, so he's like, Godspeed. She's going to stay there for... Well, I guess, like, what, 30 hours-ish, give or take. Not, I guess you're going to stand outside, but... Oh, oh, she's not... Oh! Dun dun dun! I said he was right there. Fucking hell. Okay. Interesting. Uh, we sent men to monitor the abandoned mine shaft that leads to Le Monde. All were found dead. At the entrance, other bodies were found. Two knights of the Cardinal's Crimson Blades. Fascinating. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. I, I, I don't know anything about Zone of the Enders. Um, I, I know the name. I'm, I'm intrigued, though. I, I do have, like, I think I have the, the remake of it or something. Knocking around somewhere. Uh, our men were murdered with swords, but the knight's wounds show they died by their own hands. Uh, well, they turned, they stabbed, they shanked themselves with their swords. At present, we've taken the bodies into our custody, and our specialists are continuing the examination. Uh, that's an excerpt from the Greylands Incident Report. Okay. Mm. So maybe Sydney has the power to... So, Cal was saying, oh, he's, he's super charismatic, and he has, like, magical powers and stuff. Maybe it's not that he's just charismatic. He can literally control people's minds and souls. And just be like, oh, yeah, you kill yourself. Fascinating. Ah, vintage wine. Which it, some, which if they does have that power, then I wonder, wonder um, why he didn't use that on Ashley. No live burials today, thanks. Yeah, please. <laughs> Strange power indeed. Oh, well, we've fallen into the game. Right, I need to step away for a minute. Okay, let me. Have a look, see. Okay, cool. So I control the camera rotation. Oh. That's if we want to go into first person with uh, the bumpers there. Okay, cool. I can actually use the stick as well to run around. That's nice. Yeah, another thing with the duck station. You just, it goes, you go to the controller settings and it just goes, oh yeah, we see you've got an Xbox One controller plugged in. Off you go. <laughs> There's like no setup or anything. It's like, what, what a fucking, what a gem. What a gem. Um, okay, we're right at the beginning here. So let me uh, go ahead and just, uh, I'll do a safe state here. Just, um, seems appropriate. Okay, well, I don't, I don't want to save scum. I don't want to be using safe states here, there, and everywhere. But um, also, I don't, you know, I don't want really to massively fuck up. So before we do anything else, okay, so you can go into first person like that. No, uh, like that. Okay, cool. And you can have a, a little look around if if you need to. I, I assume you can probably play the whole of the game without really needing to go into first person. I assume. We shall see though. Um, get rid of that. Okay, cool. That brings up the menu. That's why. Um, okay, cool. And he's got a jump. So I assume you can yeah, you can climb on these. Okay, I see. Did he take full damage? 
No, seemingly not. Or at least not from that height. Okay, I need to step out for a minute. <clears throat> Oh wow! Can you, I can't even imagine um, doing like that kind of stuff for a living. Uh, okay, cool. So that zooms the camera out a little bit more, and I, I think having him zoomed out a bit more is probably better there. Okay, so you can see the down in the bottom right, we've got the uh, the kind of the 3D representation of the map. We've got the stats on the top left, and we've got a little um, a little 2D uh, silhouette of uh, ash. Uh, down in the bottom left there. So I think from what I saw in the video yesterday that um, when he takes damage to his his body parts as we saw in the, the little bit of combat we did, you, much like we can target the enemy's body parts and damage them Ashley can also. Um, so I think the main thing is uh, your legs getting damaged fucks with your movement your head getting damaged fucks with your magic although we don't have any magic at the moment um, your body getting damaged I think uh, increases a a, a, a uh, kind of a multiplier to your um, risk factor. Uh, your left arm getting damaged kind of interferes with your defense, I think, to some degree. And your right arm getting damaged interferes with your uh, your attack. As obviously you're swinging your weapon. Um, we'll figure this all out as we go along, though. But um, <clears throat> yeah, right. It, square. If, if it seems like. I assume you're a fan of the Dark Souls games. I am. I'm not particularly good at them. Um, but I'm good enough to get through them. Uh, and I've played uh, Dark Souls 1, you know, the trilogy, many times. And we played Elden Ring on, on this channel. Um, I haven't played Bloodborne or um, Demon Souls, unfortunately. Though I would very much like to. Um, uh, I could not get on Sekiro. I fucking so shit at Sekiro. I can't, unfortunately, play that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I love the uh, the idea of those kind of games. It, it feels, it seems like maybe Vagrant Story was like the makers, like they, it was like Dark, like you say, Dark Souls before Dark Souls. They were like, oh, we need a game that's kind of like this. And it's like they had the idea of what they were trying to do before they knew what they were trying to do, if that makes sense. I don't know. But um, we shall see. I'm going to have to pick all these menus apart in a moment. Um, yeah, you are a fan of the games. Yeah, yeah, you've got a good taste, obviously. My friend, um, mm. yeah, yeah, like, it, like it's ahead of its time, right? And sometimes games suffer from that. As much as there's a lot of artwork, um, I think it'll be made and it'll be kind of incredible, but no one will really notice. Whereas they would have it would have got more recognition if it was released later. It's one of those things, isn't it? Hmm, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, Red Mage, who you've spoken to in chat there, he's the, he's the one who uh, put votes towards me covering this game. And I was aware of this game uh, for many years, but I just never played it. And I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know the uh, reputation it had or the kind of the cult status it had. Um, the pun. But anyway. Um, so I'm gonna, I need to step out for a minute anyway. Um, it's just coming up for six o'clock. So I'll, I'll take our... Half, uh, not mid string because we're going to do another three hours, but um, I'm going to take our break now and make coffee. Then I'll get back and I can, I can drink my coffee while I'm trying to pick apart these menus and everything um, and tr figure out the game. But um, I'm, uh, I'm uh, quietly optimistic I'm going to be able to get into this. But anyway, guys, um, bear with. I'll, uh, I'll be about three minutes or so. Um, I'll see you in a sec.
Oh, why? Right. Sorry for the, uh... Wait there. Can I come through? Okay, X. X. Right, cool. A bar uh, meaning to step out to pee at some point. We are all locked in now for the next three hours, so... Let's see. Let's hope we can get to grips with it. I'm very excited. I love the fact that you can hear those fucking moans. Like these some creepy fucking creatures, like, wandering around this place. Anyway. So, first we've got a quick manual. So, I assume that explains all of the various things in the game, but... Oh, read me. Oh, area map. Okay, we'll figure the map out. Let's check anything there quickly. Um, 21 pages, okay. Oh my... I need to... Uh, let me quickly run my eye over this. I'm going to read it all, but... Um... Alright, yeah, so left trigger. Uh, you can open the shortcut menu. So you don't need to keep opening your menu in case you're running around. You need to like a, a fucking, I don't know, potion or whatever. <clears throat> um, oh, moving cloud stones add a boost to a jump that would normally fall short. Okay, I'll flip those. Um, to a limited extent, you can change Ashley's direction mid-jump. Okay. Um, okay, use your free look, you know, your first person to look around, see if there's any chests or doors you might have missed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, mm, right, yeah, so running around and jumping you can't do in battle mode. Uh, opening chests and stuff. Yeah, hit points, magic points, uh, and risk all recover faster uh, in normal mode. So, uh, so, I guess in essence, if you have a battle and you're relatively safe after the battle, you can kind of just stand there and like fully recover over time. Um, so PP phantom points don't do decrease when Ashley is in normal mode. So your phantom points do decrease in battle. So I think your fa phantom points are. Um, I think the video said that like, you, as you more use a weapon, it uh, gets damaged and deteriorates, but you get phantom points into it, which kind of are used to upgrade it or something. I don't know. Wolf Akuma, how you doing, fellas? I hope you're well. So how's it going today? I hope you're both good. Um. Uh, when wearing armor, Ashley's resistance to magicals increases, or you would think. Shield bonus is also added to this resistance in battle mode. So when you want magic, like healing magic to work, switch to normal mode first. Oh, okay. Um, hit location damage tips. Yeah, this will be okay. Um, right, re yeah. Um... Okay, so get, so healing hit points will reduce... Oh, or rather not using magical items to heal will automatically reduce damage on your hit locations. At the same time, this will also cure status abnormality resulting from damage. Killing two birds with one stone. Perfect. Uh, right, risk. When risk is high, things can get dicey. <laughs> Read the following live up to the risk breaker name. <laughs> Hilarious. Uh, Legion Cage is, is torture. I... Cage, I hope you're well, buddy. I am so hoping that I rock this game and I can mock, use that to mock you forever. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how how that goes, though. <laughs> but how you doing, buddy? I'm excited. I'm excited. I hope you're well. Um, yeah, you're doing good, are you? Well, thanks. On. I'm pleased to hear it, buddy. Pleased to hear it. You're hoping that I do as well? I'm like, okay, that, you must have been bad. Anyway, yeah, so... um. As the risk goes up, and it goes up at the more you attack in battle and stuff, and I, I believe it resets to zero in between battles, uh, a chance to hit with normal attacks, uh, target spells, and break arts decreases. So does the amount of damage Ashley receives. Um, however, you also increases your crit rate. So you have lower accuracy, but you have higher crit rate. Um, okay, you know that uh, hit point recovery spells like heal are more effective the higher Ashley's risk rating is. Okay, so as risk go risk goes up, the more longer combat goes on, which means Ashley will take more damage and have harder time hitting, but his healing spells will be more effective 
and his crit rate will be higher as well. Fascinating. Um, okay, using multiple chain abilities makes risk increase even faster. So chain abilities, I think if you like do an attack or maybe it's a literally an ability, you can kind of like do multiple hits. I think you have to time your button press as well as you do that, but we'll see. Um, uh, learning magic. You need magic to complete your mission. You need to read the following. No, let's go. Um, spell works known as Grimoires. Transfers the knowledge of the spell it contains to Ashley, so be sure to use the Grimoire you are lucky enough to find. So, right, so you, it's an item that you use, and then he has the spell. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, using the spell costs MP, obviously. <clears throat> chain abilities can get Ashley through some pretty tight spots. Read the following grow strong. Once to obtain chain abilities, you must gain experience by using battle abilities. When experience reaches a certain level, you can choose a battle ability from a list of abilities. As uh, Ashley has yet to obtain. Okay. Each time you use a chain or defense ability, you gain one experience point. Okay, so that's how you level up. So you need to do use chains or defensive abilities to get this XP. You cannot use the same chain ability twice in a row. Alternate between two or three abilities to chain multiple attacks. Chaining is effective against certain foes. You should be able to chain multiple attacks against uh, these foes, but you won't gain any ability effects other than damage. Okay. Okay. Fucking hell, Red Witch. <laughs> it's worth the risk. Well, that's good, Cage. You know, we're going to have a nice lunch. Something to look forward to. Um, although, you're going to be heading out soon, right? It's already lunchtime right now. Um, defense abilities can save Ashley from severe beatings. <laughs> that's the last thing we want. That's what Cage got. That's, he got one of those. And he's like, fuck this game. <laughs> Read the following and take cover. Uh, defense ability is obtained in the same manner as chain abilities. Match the proper defense ability for the attack against which you are defending. This sounds so convoluted right now, but it's, it's, I think it's more wordy than it actually the reality of what is, it is. Um, certain attacks can only be blocked by certain defense abilities. So I, I guess, I guess that you could like go through the game, and you get to like a boss, and it's got a certain attack that that you will just get murdered by unless you have a certain defense ability and if you've not which you have no way to know what that is and if you haven't gone out of your way to learn that defense ability then you're kind of effed in the A now let me uh uh <laughs> I yeah no you get banned you'd have to you have to do a lot more than that to get banned very much but um so I guess my only thought is I'm going to assume that like treasure and chests and stuff doesn't respawn. But the question is, do enemies respawn? Like, can you effectively grind to get items and these ability uh, XPs? Because if you can, then it's not so much of an issue. But if you can't, and there's only like a set amount of enemies in the game, then you could ease quite easily... F F yourself in the A by like kind of not doing the right things in the right order or the right time or just not doing things at all and then get yourself in a weird situation. They do respawn. That's what I would hope, Red Mage. So that, in theory, shouldn't be a, an issue because like even if you say that hypothetical situation where uh, I come across that boss and I'm like, don't have the defensive ability to defeat the boss or the offensive ability or whatever it is, I think, okay, well, I can just backtrack, go beat down some random enemies, and then hopefully I can learn that ability I need. Right, okay. As soon as I figure out how it, like, works, I want to go, oh, okay, then I'll, I'll start trying to you know me, I'm going to like try and learn stuff. Even if it's stuff that I don't necessarily use, right? Um, okay, um, break arts are the ultimate in fighting techniques. Consumes hit points, though. Mm, if you don't have enough hit points, you may not be able to use it. Obviously, because you don't want to eat yourself. <laughs> Uh, break arts will ex uh, with experience gain from uh, Croy. Acquire break arts with experience gain from vanquishing your fighters. Okay, you get enough XP reward with a new break art for the weapon you're currently using. 
Now, does that mean weapon type you're currently using, or the very actual specific individual weapon? Hmm. Every foe felled earns one experience point towards a new break art. Perfect. Experience points are cum uh, calculated separately for each type of weapon. Okay, cool. There we go. That's answered the question then. Presumably each type weapon type. Um, so I guess it's that it's like this. It's like, do you want to just use one weapon type and and learn all the stuff from that, or do you want to use different weapon types and try and like diversify? That's the question, isn't it? Um, right, yeah, yeah. So like one of, so not just like to go into the next room, Red Mage, but like like a whole area. Okay, that makes sense. Some break arts possess their own affinity, while others depend on the weapon used. Right, okay, so affinity is, like, going to be, um... The th what things are, like, you know, strong and weak against. So something might be, like, say, strong or weak against a dagger. Um, and a, a, a certain dagger break art may depend... Its affinity will depend on the weapon, the dagger. Or its affinity may not fucking matter. It's like, so something that's, say, strong against a dagger, stab with the dagger, not going to do much, whereas the dagger break art doesn't use its dagger affinity, it might actually be effective. But, yeah, check the break art's information for more details. Okay. Puzzle cubes. Cubes, sometimes annoying, <laughs> but you can't make it through your mond without them. Read below to find out more. Um, if you mistakenly push a cube in the wrong direction, or destroy a cube you didn't want to, you can reset all the cubes to their original position by leaving and re-entering the room. Thank fucking God. Use a long hafted weapon or ranged weapons to destroy cubes from a distance. Okay. Um, Ashley can move and grab cubes that are on a slightly lower surface on him too. Um, Cage, if you're still there, I'm curious, how far did you get? Do you know how far through the game you got? Uh, or do you, oh, like, is there an amount of time you put into the game before you uh, nopes out? And was there some particular instance? Was there like a boss you got to you just couldn't defeat? Arm weapons are basic combat tools. Yeah, of course. Um, use them well. Right. Weapons are comprised of a blade and a grip. Assemble these two parts and equip the completed weapon. So if you find a... Yeah, yeah. So you can make different weapons based on that. I know it says blade. I don't know what the we different weapon types are, but it might not... You know, there's two parts. There's the hitting part and the holding part. Okay, that makes sense. And I guess you can mix them randomly, right? Not randomly, but that's the idea. It's like its own crafting system. You can use the attach gem, disassemble, and rename commands anywhere, not just in workshops. DP reflect the amount of wear, right, damp, durability, I guess, on armor and weapons. As you weapons are there, DP will drop. Right, okay. So, any, any amount above zero is still fully effective. But if the durability of weapon drops to zero, its effectiveness is cut to 50%. It's not destroyed, you can still use it, but it's half as effective. So you're gonna so if you're using the weapon a lot and then it gets depleted, you wanna switch to a different weapon, basically. It's something to keep an eye on. And I assume you can heal your your weapons and armor. You're not really sure how far you got. Oh no, you know, he wasn't a boss. You were just like, fuck, do tell, if you want to, Kate, you don't have to tell us. I, and I'm not, uh, all jokes aside, I'm not certainly judging you, dude. I, I couldn't get through tactics, so, and, you know, and you're like, that's amazing. You fool, it's maybe a fucking idiot. So I'm not going <laughs> to, I, I, I might no out before you do, buddy, but I just, I, I don't know, I've got a good vibe about it. I, I kind of want to, want to get into it. Um. Right, PP reflect the dark energies absorbed by weapons and armor used within Leomond. Uh They uh, increase as you use a weapon or a piece of armor. When it reaches max, the weapon or armor's effectiveness doubles. Huh. Now, is that maintained? So, if you had a weapon that was at max PP phantom points, but at zero durability, would that balance out to be, like, standard? Like, if max PP gives plus 100% and uh, 
and zero DP gives them minus 100% that they balance it. You see what I'm saying? I don't know. Who knows? We'll find out. Um, restore your durability DP at any workshop by using the repair command on the setup in the item menu. Repairing DP drains an equal amount of PP from the weapon or armor. Right. So I wonder if it's one for one. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe it's less. So the idea is you uh, use your weapon, you get down to half durability, but then you've uh, got some uh, an amount of uh, you know a phantom in it, and then you spend the phantom to get the f to fix your weapon, but you still got some amount of phantom points. So you, in theory, although having a weapon at one hundred percent or one percent durability, it still functions the same. So I guess the idea, what you want to aim for, is to get 100% phantom points on a weapon to double the effectiveness, while making sure it stays above zero durability. Oh, that sounds like what you're supposed to do. <clears throat> what, do you, I was it, cause you're, you're a grinder more than I am, Cage, so I can't imagine it was because it felt too grindy. But I don't know, you'd... Sometimes you just get a vibe of things, and it can either be like a positive or negative vibe. Right? And it doesn't mean that, you know, it could, could be for any any reason at all. Yeah, you can check the state of Ashley's arm and weapons will go into the status under the item menu. Uh, however, when you change setup or remove any armor or weapons, the status changes to split. It's, it's resets. Obviously, that makes sense. Map tips. Simple and area map can help keep Ashley on the right path. Uh, redefining when you get lost. Uh, when you don't know where uh, to use a key or sigil you've obtained, just check the area map. Check the key or sigil information, then look at the area map, and you should be able to find where to use it. Okay, perfect. Okay, and that's, there we go, and that's all of what they consider to be the essential tips and information. Now, obviously, you've got all, like, far more breakdown and quick manual, um... I don't think I need to look at any of that. I guess we'll check the controls briefly. Uh, 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 next key command, draw weapon. Okay, cool. Yeah, I already figured that out. Right, so X is cancel. Open doors and chests. Okay, so you're not we're not using circle to open doors and doors and chests. That's literally go in and out of battle mode, which you only want to be in battle mode when you're in battle. You don't really run around in battle mode. Um, okay, and then push carry place cubes as well. Okay, um, right. Square is jump. Triangles open your menu. Okay, I'm going to take the camera. Right. Yeah, so left uh, trigger for the shortcuts. Um, so walk, we're right, because that just means if you want to walk slowly. Um, okay, and it's in different modes. Um, yeah, it's, it's all self explanatory, isn't it? I mean, most of the controls are exactly the same. Right, the menu, yeah, now the fucking menu works. Okay, cool. Oh, sorry, let me click the right button. <laughs> I'm pressing the wrong thing. Anyway, cool. So that's uh, that gives us a bit more information there. We'll see. Now, is it not possible? Does your risk not drop down to like zero outside of combat, or you went into the battle with zero risk, but you your risk just got out of hand too quickly? Score. Oh, five hundred and seventy four points I've already got. I don't know <laughs> what I did to get that. Risk breaker rank, level one, normal agent. <laughs> That's no double O seven. <laughs> normal normal agent, Ashley Riot reporting for Judy. Ah, normal agent. <laughs> Titles. Oh, are these are kind of like achievements almost. I've fucking 32 things to do. Okay. Gazette. Oh, okay, and this is your stats. Games completed, completion time, chest count. Oh, as a percentage. 
Oh, fascinating. So I could use this to keep keep track of um, completion. Yeah, map completion. Oh, kill this. Thought you killed. Okay. I killed one dragon. Oh, so you did kill that with him. Right, yeah, these are the uh, enemy types. Human, beast, undead, phantom, dragon, and evil. So we're looking at that as well. Um, usages. So I guess that's just number of strikes. So his sword is being used. We've got dagger as weapon type. Great sword. Axe and mace, I guess, are the same type. Great axe. Staff. Heavy mace. I mean, it's like, kind of like a, a warhammer, pole arm, crossbow, and unarmed. I wonder if you could do like a, an unarmed, like monk playthrough. <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if that's a thing. Anyway, uh, records. Well, uh, oh, record time. Okay. Oh, okay. So this is challenges or something. I don't know. Uh, an encyclopedia. Oh, as in Encyclopedia Bestiary. 78. It's not. The ones on there we already got, right? No, okay. Okay. Interesting. Right, let me just check out the options. Simple map. Um, default zone. Without a frame. Okay, I'll leave that as it is. Timing display. Okay, that's the default is that's on, so we'll leave that weapon status. Right, okay, so uh Red Mage said to turn this on, I believe. Lower left corner of the screen. E and display any weapon status changes. Well surely you'd want to know that. And same with armor. That seems reasonable. Uh cursor memory is on by default. Okay, interesting. Information. Play information at the bottom of the screen. Oh, that's when you're in combat, it's telling you like the different affinities and stuff right puzzle mode now this is the one we want to turn off so this is when you go into room and you do the box puzzles to progress the room the next time you come in it resets and then you have to do it again in a timer tank mode and it's like i've i've got no interest in that honestly i just i want to do the puzzles in each room and then they're done and then we just move on from there right right um, yeah, stereo output, vibration should already be off, perfect. Okay, so that's all the options. Uh, data, I just miss you. Yeah, you save and uh, plan for an hour, do nothing, that's fine. Um, hello there, Dark Moon, how you doing? Um, <laughs> well, I hope, I hope it's not going to make me cry like a baby, but if it does, it does, and we'll, we'll just see. But, um, alright, let's have a look. We've got items. Okay, so it's equipment. Okay, so that's sword. It's a fandango. And then, uh, okay, so you have right and left arm, head, body, and legs, and they're all their own separate things. Okay. So I think I think later on the mat the materials the arm is made out of, like, matters for your workshop and stuff. Um, that's obviously not something I need to worry about right now, but he's basically wearing leather armor, essentially. He's got a rude necklace. Uh, Rude of the Locust preset. Once owned by Tia. I don't know if Tia is. Um, so. Okay, so this is, this is the the main thing of. Uh, so you've got your class affinity and type. Let's try and fucking work all this out. So, I can understand with a weapon, but I. The relative effectiveness, I guess. Um, so, uh, okay, so it's giving him plus one intelligence. So, I think. So, if we look down on the right there, it says org, and then you keep. So, I think. The the uh, the switch is strength, intelligence, agility. So I think the zero one zero. I think that's telling you the stats of the item, and the equip is telling you Ashley's current stats with that equipped. 
So it's obviously strength and intelligence and agility, which I don't know exactly what their stats do, are all 100 naturally. And wearing this little um, necklace is giving him plus one intelligence, which is not too much. Not only that, um, as we look on the left here, uh, we've got um, it's the different enemy types. Human, beast, undead, phantom. I guess that's like ghostly undead. Dragon, that speaks for itself, and evil, which I guess that's probably going to be like the bosses and stuff. Presume, or, or who, who the fuck knows, I don't know. Um, now, I assume that's kind of affecting his, like, over, his relative defences. Right, and I don't know what, like, say, five and minus five um, means. Maybe it goes, like, a, a hundred plus a hundred or minus a hundred, either way. That seems reasonable based on the little... You know, the little blips of the little pixels on the graphics there. So any enemies uh, that are evil or undead, that's giving him some very small amount of defense against them. And any enemies that are phantom or dragon, that's actually giving them an advantage by wearing this, essentially. Um, and it, if we... Uh, so let's look at his sword for a minute. Uh, bronze sword, edged one hand. Um, okay, cool. So, yeah, going back over to the uh, right there. So, range. Obviously, a bigger weapon is going to have a longer range we've seen in, in combat there. Um, risk. So, I think the risk means what risk you're building in combat when you attack with that weapon. So, maybe like um, larger two handed weapons and stuff are more ris literally risky to use. Um, so it's given 10 points of attack, a single point of, uh, intelligence, and a minus 4 on his agility. So I guess something like barehanded or, like, daggers are gonna affect your agility less negatively. Uh, whereas something like, again, like a giant weapon, um, would maybe affect it more. So yeah, the actual, so we're looking at, back on the left on the, uh, the class, uh, affinities there. So, again, with the, the enemy type. So currently, he's, uh, a, a slight minus and everything. So, f so this is what, uh, the video that Red Mage shared with me yesterday I, I read. So the more, more you use a weapon on a certain enemy type, it increases the affinity, not the affinity, because that's a, its own extra character category. We'll look at that in a second. <laughs> um... So the more humans he kills, the better that weapon gets at killing humans. Sounds great, right? Sounds great. Um, hey, Zorba, how you doing there? Um, I've I've got the in-game manual. I don't uh, I don't have the I don't own physically own the game, so I don't <laughs> I do not have the manual. Um, hmm. Uh, so uh, what I'd uh, what I was told uh, what I saw in the video yesterday. So if we so if he kills a bunch of humans and he puts up the uh, the uh, that's that class stat there for hurting killing humans with the sword, it actually lowers the next two categories down the list. So the better it gets at killing humans, it'll actually get worse at killing beasts and undead. Um, now is it proportional? Is it like, is it an equal net? There's no like net gain or loss. Is there a net loss? Is there a net gain? Who could say? If there is a net gain, you could in theory take a weapon and fight all enemy types and slowly over time build them all up. Um, I don't know at this juncture. We'll have to wait and see. And it it could be that it's actually a, a net loss, right? It wouldn't surprise me if that was the case, because I think the idea is you are you, you you kind of like are supposed to collect, have a collection of weapons, and then use the right weapon for the right enemy at the right time, right? So you'll have a weapon that is used for killing humans, a weapon that you use for killing beasts, a weapon that you use for killing undead, or at least you have to like build up to getting those, because you're not just giving them; you've got to actually use them. Um, Fascinating. So we'll see. So yeah, so we can see its durability points: uh, 124 out of 126, and it currently has um, 25 phantom points. So I guess it has a max phantom points. Well, of course that doubles the effectiveness when that does get maxed out. Um, so if we go across to affinity here, so this is the ele ele elemental stuff: physical, air, fire, earth, water, light, and dark. Um, 
Light and dark are apparently opposite. Water and fire are opposite. And earth and air are opposite. And physical is just its own thing. Um, so obviously enemies have their own different affinities. And you need to, you know, to a, 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 a presumably, presumably, if you had an enemy that was higher in fire affinity, water would be effective against it. Um, or maybe it wouldn't be effective against it because they're... I don't know, the opposites, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> right, Red Mage. Presumably we'll get... get away from those at some point. Or maybe I have to go and kill the things that are making the noises. But we, we shall see. I think presumably the, the main thing is you don't want to... You would assume don't use the... Um, an affinity that is strong ag against a certain enemy. For, for example, with this current sword... If you had something that was um, with air, so it's like five on air, which is not much, obviously, but it would be somewhat effective against an, an air affinity enemy, whereas uh, earth and water are currently sat at minus three. So uh, that would be fractionally less effective. Now, all of these numbers, are, if I'm assuming that they go up to 100 positive and 100 negative, at the moment, we're all kind of like very minimal, but it is worth bearing in mind. And finally, type blunt, edged, and piercing. So I assume does that not change? That is just what the, this sword, the Fandango, is set at: is four points of edged and one point of piercing and zero point of blunt. I don't know. Um, the video did say yesterday, like, which of these three factors is the most important? And I can't remember which one. I think it was possibly the type. Or maybe it was... Maybe it was Finny. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> well, we'll see. I'll figure it out as we go. Um, hopefully. Um, because it's not currently got a shield. That's, hence, they're all zero, because that's just his arm. <laughs> Right. Um, okay, it's leather armor. Okay, cool. So, he's, for example, his leather armor's got some kind of small amount of resistance against air and fire. Um, and this doesn't necessarily mean elemental spells. I'm sure they will get thrown at us. Um, but there could be other, f you know, an enemy may just have a strong affinity to one of those elements, I guess. Um, there we go. And he has a, a, a tiny amount of resistance against edged and blunt, but no resistance against piercing. Okay. Um. I think. Okay, so set up. Let's look at so. Okay, so if you want to assemble weapons and attach gems and disassemble. So if you find a weapon you don't need, you can take it apart. Okay, cool, cool. So. I believe at certain parts in the game you have I mentioned earlier you have access to storage so you want to stash your weapons and armor and stuff um, and it looks like you can only carry eight weapons and eight shields with you at any one time so I think the idea is you want to make sure that you don't you're not carrying like eight weapons with you at all times because then you find another one you can't even fucking pick it up right I think that's the idea so you, if you find you've got spares Maybe just disassemble them on the fly. Um, attach gems. We have no gems to attach at the moment, presumably. No. Okay. All right. So they have to actually have slots as well. Might have gems, but... Okay. And, oh, there's another thing, Gus. So you can actually combine weapons together. So if you find two of the same weapon type, but can only be done at a workshop. Okay. Okay, I think that's everything there. Okay, and uh, you can probably see at the top left here. So we're in the... As I said, information. So then you've got your different categories. So you've got weapons. Blades. Scimitar. Okay, so that's the, the blade that is... Right, okay, and then the hill. Okay, so the short hill, of which is grips one of 16... And the scimitar blade, one of 16, are combined to make the fandango, I assume. So if I disassembled the fandango, presumably I would get a scimitar blade and a short hilt. Which then if I had other grips or other blades, I could reassemble those into a different weapon. 
I think. All right, shields we do not have. And um, then you've got your armor category. Okay, so you can carry six out of 16 armor pieces on you. You can carry up to 48 gems, which we have zero. And then here's your actual items, which you, your healing items and such, by the looks of it. Uh, cure root. We have 10 of those. Thank fuck for that. Um, so it looks like your items are, yeah, five slots out of 64. And thankfully, that's not 64 individual items, so that's 64 unique item types. So Cure Root, which we have 10, 50 hit points. Uh, Vera Root. Uh, restores concentration, lowers your risk by 25 points. So this is the uh, the balancing act of combat, presumably. Is balancing your risk. Obviously, risk is going to go up, but if it goes up too high, could be a bit of an issue. So we've got 10 Vera Roots that reduce your risk in combat. Uh, Idrazil's Tears, 5. Heal status abnormalities. Cures paralysis. Uh, fairy chortle cures poison. Spirit orison cures numbness. So obviously status items. Okay, so I think that's everything in there for now. The only ones I need to worry about is using items there and equipping and sorting you set out there. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, status. Okay, cool. That's if you want to check the condition of his body parts. And then he's got his stats in the bottom uh, right there. We've got status there. Okay. Um, defense value versus yeah. Oh, okay. So these are these are his natural defense values. It says armor bonus is not included. He's 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 perfectly neutral. He has no strength or weakness against any affinities. And same with types. Okay. So I think the status is just more for reference, isn't it? Um, I think that's every... Oh, I haven't looked at the map yet. Okay. Okay, it's like it reminds me of uh, Metroid Prime or something. <clears throat> right. Yeah. It depends what you're fighting, right? Because um, there could be some advantage just having high risk, but I guess mostly not. Okay, so using this, you can actually probably get around quite quite well. I think that's everything. Um, yeah, data's your save point, isn't it? Um, okay, okay uh, I'm pressing the right stick there. Okay, let's... Um, I've got to keep uh, my finger... Ready on the uh, on the uh, combat button, don't I? Because I see something, I don't want to be. Because uh, presumably, if I see an enemy and I don't put myself in combat mode, the enemy will just beat down on me, and I won't be able to do anything. <laughs> uh, type, affinity, and class. Ah, hang on, sorry. Let me. Okay. Sorry, I'm looking at weapons, aren't I? Right, okay. So it's actually in reverse order. So whether something so whether something is edged, piercing, or blunt, and its resistances, and then the elemental stuff, and then class is like the final f factor. So it's almost like in reverse order. I'll, yeah, I, th I think it might have said that as well. So, yeah. I mean, when you've got so we've got so little options at the start here, it doesn't actually um, it doesn't actually make any difference to us. I did it again. Okay, <laughs> that's okay. Anyway, um, so I think we can step ahead. Let's go. Oh, okay, we've got a save point and a chest. God, we're getting all sorts of things. Um. Oh, sorry. I need to press the right button. Don't I? Oh shit! <laughs> Akuma's been waiting patiently. Is, uh, is this motherfucker actually gonna walk anywhere? So we just picked up an axe, which is the axe and mace category. 
Uh, we've got a shield, buckler, wooden shield, a leather glove, uh, which I don't know how that would compare to our glove we're currently wearing, um, five Vera bulbs, and five cure bulbs, which have 100 hit points. What the fuck, bro? It's, it's setting us up here, because it knows we're going to get effed in the A. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I want to take all of that. Fuck yeah, I want to take all of that. Okay. So, yeah, I go to equip. Tell me how compare those two. Right, so it's got less. The axe has got less durability. Um. Right, of course, it's got more blunt, obviously, and a bit of edged. So, I mean, um, what else has it got? It's got... Oh, it's got... Oh, it's got less agility and it's got less attack as well. Um, okay, so... I mean, as we just started, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just stick with a sword for now, I guess. Um, but... Surely we want to equip a shield, right? Surely. Why would we not want to equip a shield? It does give us minus one uh, agility, but it gives us six points of defense and nine points of int defense. Okay, so I think strength defense is first, like, your physical... And your magic defense. So it'd be kind of crazy to not equip your shield. But of course, it gives us minus elemental resistances and stuff. But it uh, surely makes sense. There you go. Look at the size of it. It's like a freaking saucer. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I got a, a, a le leather glove, didn't I? So I guess that is right or left handed? Okay, it's durability is fucked a little bit. So I'm getting an extra point of physical defense, but I'm losing four points of like magic defense. So I'm gonna take a bit of a risk and assume that at this early juncture, unfortunately it doesn't change the graphics of it, but you know. Um this early juncture, we're gonna be fighting like physically based enemies a bit more than anything that's gonna be slinging magic owls. And also let's do this. So this is surely the save point, surely. Okay. Yeah, I've got all the knowledge. Now, do I have? <laughs> I've, uh, so have you have you played this yourself, Akuma? Map percentage zero. Excellent. Let's see if we can get it to 100, yeah? Um, now, is it worth breaking barrels and stuff? Oh. Okay, that's just the uh, sound there. Um. Ah, you watched a YouTube about it. Okay. Yeah, fair. Um, okay, let's go. Motherfucker. He got me there. Okay, little bat. A yeeted bat. Oh. There you go. Put that away. Yeah, he hurt my arm a little bit, didn't he? He damaged my arm. Motherfucker. <clears throat> oh. Oh, sorry. I thought that might be a thing there. Okay, cool. I can go back over there if I need to. Now, one thing I'm curious about: how what's the, what's going to be the prevalence of? Uh, oh, uh, sneaky stuff. Well, the map is very, very well done. It's going to be like, yeah. What's that? What's that red little? marker back there. Is that just telling me that's back to a safe room? Did I miss something? Was it just showing a connecting door? Curious, because it doesn't have one on the other side there. 
Oh, no, it does. Oh, right, it's got a grayed out one. Okay, so I think that donates doors, entrances, and maybe that flashing red one is just telling you... I was going to say telling you where to go, but it's still there. Unless that's... Oh, you know what? That's probably just telling you where the safe point is. That's probably what that is. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, back, back through where that bat was. Yeah, I, I, I tried to press the uh, the combat button, but he got his attacking first. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Well, got her open. It's no good. Not even a budge. Watch this. It weren't unlocked a moment ago, eh? No key holds this door. It'd be a grimoire what's doing this. Oh, who locked it then? Someone inside? Buggered if I know. Buggered if I know. <laughs> Look, we cut off from the others. And where are those scouts, man? They've not returned. This be no time for loafing around. <laughs> Keep your cap on, brother. <laughs> Bugger off. <laughs> Hilarious. Now come up here and take a look at this. What's that? A grimoire? Yeah, well, that's what we want. Okay. Right, so that door's locked, and I'll get electrocuted if I try to open it, apparently. This, too, be a grimoire's doing by the gods! I oft heard of it, but this. And a worm, a dragon, was sight of the Duke's manor. Well, if there's magic about, dragons won't be far behind. I worry about Gildan's son and the others. Ah, they'll be fine. Think of it. If we've witnessed miracles such as these on uh, Leomon's doorstep, what then lies within? You wear an eye a like a crest, brother. <laughs> Surely the masters know of this grimoire. Mayhaps we've just been in the dark, eh? Yet our charge is to drop. Is that drop? Drop those Mullen Camp scoundrels and. and procure the miracles of Le Monde. Tis just a rumour, but I've heard that Gildenstern's lots uh, works their magics as well. I bet they do. Rubbish! We're servants of the Lord. No true knight of the cross would dabble in the black arts. It's only a rumour, brother. But if Sydney is truly the worker of, uh, uh, D Diabolari. Diabolari? As in dark magic? Is that? Diabolari, they claim he is. I say fight fire with fire. I say let the Lord be our shield. Ever the quiet boy. <laughs> so this guy's like, oh, I love God. And this other guy's like, let's use black magic against them. <laughs> The only shield I see is the one covering your eyes. Heretic or no, I believe what I see, and right now, I see sorcery. Swine will take wing for the likes of us use magic, my friend. Aye. With a grimoire, your fattest sow could <laughs> outfly my swiftest falcon, if you believe the chroniclers. With a grimoire, you say? That's what I wanted, I want my sow to fly around. <laughs> You could even make cobblestones float like clouds. Hello. Oh, shit. Are they... Oh. You want to fight, bro? Fight you, bro? Oh, oh, shit. Fucking hell. Okay. Now, uh, where do I want to hit him? And does it... Does it matter? I wonder if the hit points is the amount you're about to do. I want to try hit him in the arm. That seems to work. Ow! Me. 
Gaff the fucker. Okay, let's go for the arm again. Oh, nice. Whee! Chase me. <laughs> oh, fuck. So you can't kind of like cleverly, uh. Okay, now he's tough. His arm off. There you go. I, I yeeted him. Fucking hell, though. They're running away, is there? Um, I guess I'll just go for his body. Oh, wow. That was a decent hit. Fuck me. Okay, then. Oh, I'm getting some crits. Okay, cool. So. I killed him, but we took some damage, and my gear got fucked up, but I guess I got... Oh, sorry, I'm pressing the wrong thing there. I guess I got some affinity there? Oh, she has to get out of battle mode. No, I can cancel that. Right. Okay, cool. My hit points is ticking over, which is nice. Press the right thing, I guess. Okay, cool. So... I don't know if it had any specific change on on that. Or maybe maybe those changes were on my armor. And I, I guess they're only going to be subtle as well, aren't they? Oh yeah, well, I guess what I need to one thing I need to do is just check the uh I'll cl click the right thing. Let's see from there. No, okay, that's just to check the numbers of status. Yeah, I just want to check the durability, but I guess with a short fight like that, that was not going to be too much of a factor. But yeah, no, um, so I guess, um, sorry, status of Ashley, there we go. So his right, my, his right arm's a bit fucked up. Requires treatment. Fuck. Right, yeah, yeah, no doubt, Red Mage. So, do I need to, but surely, I want, so will he is, Will his, um, the condition of his arm recover as his hit points tick over? God, it's quite slow, but it's nice that he's doing it. Also that. Um. Sorry, I've totally got, no, wrong button. I've totally got turned around there. And what, which, where are we at now? <laughs> okay, so, uh. Alright, so the the uh the red the red door is the one I entered through. Yeah, that's where I came in from. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, we've got a safe point in there as well. Ah, and a treasure chest. Check the container. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, totally, totally got your red match. But if you like jibber jabbering like me, then you know, um, yeah, I'm checking the container. Oh, this is the storage container. Oh, and you do, and you are limited on what you can put in here. Okay, you can store quite a lot. So, up to 32 weapons and 64 each of. Um, blades and grips. That's your two weapon parts. 32 shields, 64 armor pieces. That might be more of a, a factor. 192 gems and 256 uh, misc slots. So that's, um, that's, that's a lot. Okay, so at least we, yeah, I don't need to, I don't think I need to, oh, hang on. Okay, no, I want to save. Okay, cool, yeah. Save the container and the, the same thing. Okay. Right, okay. Well, I would think it'd be better to, like, hoard my items as much as possible, right? Red Mage. 
Um, for now, at least. So I'm just gonna just slowly look at stuff. Yeah, uh, you don't really want to get into combat when you're like, you're fucked up there, but... Okay, so that chunky looking kind of bronze-ish chest is kind of the, uh... Oh, interesting. So you can save you... You save your game at the save point or at the chest. Okay, interesting. Alright, so I have to ride this across. Okay, that's cool. I don't know the exit's near us, so. though. I don't think so. I don't get the vibe that there's any benefit of smashing those random containers at the moment. The barrels and such. Oh! <laughs> Fucking bat. I've got a freaking wolf here as well. Okay. Not too bad. Okay, cool. I got plus one light affinity killing that, did it? On the sword. Oh, oh, sorry, I need to put that away there. Okay. If it had been up here, I'm guessing not. Trap, a gust trap I just walked into. Fuck. I disarm that. Oh my god. Was I just was I supposed to walk in that or was I just being uh <laughs> being stupid? I just didn't pay attention. Oh. Can we open the door? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna risk I'm gonna fucked up right now, but I'm gonna risk it. Oh. Is it what I mean? Here comes one of Parliament's watchdogs. You, go back and silence his yapping. Parliament's watchdogs? An agent of the VKP. You can follow orders, can you not? The VKP is your enemy. Now go! Sir! Oh! Uh, oh, shit. Um. Um. I guess I'm gonna drop back down here. Is it climb back up? Like, no. Ow! Chunky old man. There we go. Uh, is Homie want to come down there? God, he's kind of. He's, no, he's just chilling there. He's cro you little crossbow there, buddy. I think we're going to see you. Um, so that was. Uh, so. That was uh, Sydney, obviously, pretending to be. Um, fuck, I can't remember his name. The head of the um, the Crimson Blades, or they're one and the same person, right? Yeah, you wanna come up here, buddy. Can he, can he not get up? Bless his heart. Shame we don't have a ranged weapon, right? Oh, motherfucker. Um. Uh, 
This doesn't really... Oh, nice. Crit. Okay. I paid for that. That's fine. Oh, that, that's double crit. Done well, Ash. What? It's not entirely shit. Uh, Guildenstern, thank you. So, yeah, is Guildenstern and Sydney wrong? <laughs> And Sydney actually the same person, or is that just one of Sydney's powers that he was just like, I'm going to pretend to be their boss for a minute. Okay. So I think we're just pressing onwards. I can see myself getting myself into a little mischief here in a moment. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, so that's where we started down there, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Entrance to darkness is what they're calling it. So, I will get the hang of this map at some point. Um, oh, right, cool. Then there's our... Uh, you want to pull up your uh, items. I'm, I'm kind of I'm slightly tempted, but I'm going to... I'm going to just try and be ballsy. There's no like kind of s stealth or sneakiness. Oh, what now? Oh fuck! What have I walked into now? Not again! This is a big one. Yeah, run like me. I do not feel I'm welcome here. Okay, like it's reacting to your presence. Ah, fucking bad. Thankfully, the bats are weak. Oh, oh, got an item from it. I got a cure bulb. Yeah, we'll take that. Of course, we will. Not a bat. Fuck you, buddy. Now, so this would be my question. Can you? change items mid combat or g e e whatever i what items weapon that's what i mainly mean or are you uh committed to just uh using the one weapon right we've got over a wolf wolf just wander around I like it gives you the items automatically, at least. That's cool. So you can change your armor and weapons mid-combat. Right, okay, cool. Good to know. Good to know. Um, so yeah, I'm just curious, like, how beat up my gear is right now. Okay. Not not that beat up at all. What about if I go look at my leather, leather glove? No, that's fine. still fine. Okay. Oh, I should have stored my bandage, shouldn't I? Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, so okay. All my stuff's like not that beat up. Okay. Um. I guess I'll check this door first. Oops. I want to press the right button. Huh? The door has been locked. Get you in back. Okay, so you kind of do some jiggery pokery. You can kind of like maybe get enemies to uh not you know not hit you like that. There you go. I won't say that was skillful. The door's been unlocked. Nice. Um, but. There you go, I'll kill two wolves and a bat without taking a point of damage. So... That's pretty good. Oh, what's that, what's that emote you got there, Darkmoon? Let me roll it. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like that. That's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yes, yeah, so you got your... Uh, okay, cool. So, maybe... Maybe it's not introduced yet. Maybe it's because I don't have... Oh, and it goes to items there. That's just your... 
yeah, you all healing items and stuff, isn't it? Okay. So the root does 50 and the bulb does 100. Okay, cool, cool. Okay, so it's given us a, f a fairly decent amount of uh, items at the start here. But I, c I can see, like, maybe... Because I'm very conservative with items. That's power. He mocks me for it. <laughs> but obviously, he's finding the balance. So maybe that will actually... Maybe that will actually benefit me. Uh, because, um... You know, I could see somebody, like, playing this. Maybe they weren't sure. They would have, like, boshed, like, all the like, ten of those healing roots already right, right now, right? They're just like, oh, yeah, I'm hurt. Let me just bosh this. But also, there's no point in wasting time standing around waiting to be healed, right? Oh. That's the wrong one. Oh. I mean, that, that cupboard looks like you should be able to... <laughs> come in that, right? Um... Okay, I don't know if there's anything around there. Anything up here? Oh! Hello. Or not. Okay, so I guess we just came in here to kill a few enemies and open this chest, right? Oh, hello! We got a crossbow. Seventh heaven. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. How appropriate. For today of all days as well. Um, mm, right. And a reinforced glove. I wonder whose glove that is. Right. Um, yeah, I'll be rocking a reinforced glove. Uh, three Vera roots. And uh, three cure roots. Excellent. So I wonder if each of those categories, if, like the cure roots, like how many is in the slot? Is it 99? Fucking done well though. Let me have a, let me check this shit out. Dude, it, it, yeah, which reminds you, Red, Red Mage, I don't be distracted by this old game. Don't play that new game we've got. <laughs> um. Right. Okay. So it's got much more range, but it gives more risk. It's got more, more strength on it. A few points. Less a little less agility. Under. Let me, let me try it out. Um. Oh, it's the reinforced glove. It's going to give us a bit more defense. Let me go ahead and equip that as well. Ah, uh, okay, so you get no shield while using the uh, crossbow. Okay. Okay, that's fine. We'll see. We'll see how that pans out. We'll give it a go. I don't, I don't think there's anything else in this room, is there? Probably won't be using crossbow for, like, uh, boss fights, but... Maybe for, um... Maybe for, like, random these random enemies. Depending on the scenery, you can maybe even, like, take advantage of it. Okay, so far so good. I'm, I'm, I can definitely feel I'm going to, like, get myself into some shit in a minute. <laughs> oh. That's not ideal. Oh. Let's get rid of that first. There we go. I oh, can target the crate, can you? Okay, I don't want to be targeting any, any of those. Okay. I could have definitely done that better, but that seemed reasonable. Now... Oh, let's put it that way. Um... The question is... Okay, this is where I've got to start moving blocks around. I think it is, isn't it? Okay. Oh, there we go. Fucking hell, Ash. Muscle man. Now, do I just throw it? Okay, you just drop it off there. Okay. We'll go another one. Okay, so you hold the button to pick it up. So I'm wondering if I've maybe... Okay, can I get another one over? Oh, I guess so. 
if uh, there's some items I've possibly missed from before. Oh no, okay, maybe I only need the one. Yeah, okay, cool. You can, so you can you can climb like three blocks worth directly up. Is that three? Yeah. Curious, where are we at now? Um, zoom out. There we go. I really want to be zoomed out as much as possible. Okay. Let's progress. I, I'm, I'm going to assume I've not missed anything so far. Who knows? <laughs> well, yeah, you should be, bud. <laughs> but also don't, you know, and play your game. Oh, that's not. Yeah, that's cool. Excellent. Now, I can potentially target this wolf from up here. I'll drop down there. Oh, he's wolf's attacking the boxes. Fucking bro, what? He's hungry for me. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that makes sense. That would be miss. Oh yeah line of sight and all that. There we go. Wow, okay. Fascinating. Um. Right. I'm going to get across to that by the looks of it. I bet that's for the door, right? Oh. There's something holding this door shut. I bet it's that lever there, right? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah, I wonder as well, Ash. <laughs> I need to, uh... Hold on. Let me press the wrong button. I need to step out for a minute. Sorry, guys. That co coffee has gone right through me. But I'll be as quick as I can, and then we'll lock in for an the next hour and 40. Be right back. Right. Okay. So, so killing enemies is just literally getting your XP for your items, right? It doesn't actually. So a Ashley's uh, hit points and magic points are just going to be two fifty and fifty for the entire game. Right, can I uh, pick that up? Okay. Um There we go. Pull lever or leave it. Well, I mean Oh, 
The door is closing. Oh, shit. Get through there, honey. Oh, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't jump down there quickly enough. Oh, you're having a bubble. <laughs> Time lever. Let's try that again then. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. I'm just going to get trapped through there. Isn't it? Ashley made it through. Thank God. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Janie, how you doing there? It's your favourite game of all time. Yeah, yeah. I uh, know nothing about it, which is figuring it out. I'm a little bit slow on getting started today, just because trying to take everything in. Oh, it's this little kid. He saw the camper. What the fuck? Is that... I wonder if that kid is, um... Is Ash as a kid. And he's like got some kind of weird trauma. Oh, that's his kid. And his kid died. <laughs> Fucking bats. Yeah. You want some too? Get you. There we go. But, uh, Janie, welcome, well, welcome on in. Um, yeah, I've... I've I've heard a lot about this game. Uh, that it's like a cult classic. It's amazing. And it's one of the... It's on Wikipedia's greatest games ever made list. That, that kind of thing. Um, I've also heard it's unforgiving in its difficulty. Or maybe not its difficulty. It's like it's... It, it's how it's got a little bit awkward to get into. But um, so far so good. I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. But I'm, uh, I like what we're uh, doing so far. So, <clears throat> right, okay. Some of the puzzles are a little okay. Well, I'll, I'll, you know, we'll see how it goes. Right, red mage, always do. Okay, so I've got to presumably build the all of these up here. I think part of it is me getting used to the controls right now. Honestly, now obviously I can't pick up that box out so i think what i need to do here i think i need to destroy one of these one of these boxes here is that the idea oh. but then so then i can pick one of them up there we go okay then if i put this here all right and then get the other one and put that on top of it hmm hmm yeah, the only reason we're actually even playing it, uh, Janie, is because Red Mage uh, <laughs> put, like, some uh, votes towards it. And that was quite a while ago, and finally we get to play it. Kind of sucks for him, but... <laughs> it's, it's, um... I don't know if you found it, it's, uh... It's, uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth released today, and Red Mage is playing it right now, and he's, like... We're distracting him. I oh, thank you for the follow there, Janie. Can I sit here? Of course you can, of course you can, my friend. Um... But, yeah, yeah, I mean... Oh, there's something about these old retro RPG games. And now it could be that Vagrant Story is very unique. And I'm not familiar with it at all. But something about this era of like PS1 and uh, PS2 and like even SNES um, RPGs that are very appealing to me. So uh, let's, let's see where we get. Okay, so hopefully that means we get up here. It does. Um, I'm, I'm shitting myself. I'm expecting to walk through this door and get fucking yeeted by something. This guy. Oh, perfect. Safe point. I'll, that's just what I was after. And and some treasure as well. Fuck, he's setting us up though, isn't it? <laughs> he's like, you know what's coming up? You know what's coming up? Some aw awful shit. Uh, cure potion? Oh, wow. Okay, so now we've, we've got the roots. And then you got the next tier is bulbs. And it looks like the third tier, or the maybe the highest tier, assuming it's the third, is potions, which the cure potion does all of your hit points. Superb, excellent. So if we assume that Ashley's hit points never increase throughout the whole game, he's always two fifty. So that means you've got your roots that do fifty, 
uh, bulbs that do uh, 100, and then your potion that does all 250. So it's like 20, 40, and 100% heals. Okay, that's a, that's a good, that's a nice distribution, right? Um, yeah, so I'm going to take all those. Um, now, you did mention, Red Mage, that I should get into the habit of like looking around in rooms, but... Is it really necessary? Hello there! Walsh! Walsh! Walshy! Hey, Squishy Duck, the start of game. Uh, Sir Walter, how you doing? Walsh! Liam, how you doing, bro? Welcome in. Sorry, well, um, let me get out of this. I'm looking at the screen. What the fuck are you looking at? Here it is. There we go. We're playing Vagrant Story. Uh, what can I say about it? I don't know, because I don't know, man. But how you doing, Walsh? Oh, well, welcome in, Raiders. If you don't know me, my name is Isnib. I am a full time streamer. Um, and uh, I'm a fan of Liam. He's, he's, he's the man. Walter, thank you for the following. Can I sit here? Walsh, can you every light? Um, how you doing? Uh, well, she, are you good? Are you looking after yourself, sir? I hope you are. Sorry, let me get your shout out. Slight, how are you doing, bro? Um, can I sit here? NCC, thank you. Of course you can. Of course you can. Thank you for the follow. Uh, did you, uh, well, she, I know you, uh, you changed your name. Can I sit here? Ah, new account. Yeah, yeah, because I, 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 I saw, I noticed you, um, you can't enough to drop a follow for like was it about a week ago, a few days ago, a week ago? Or as we were right at the end of the stream there. I don't know what's going on with the shout out. It doesn't tell me what game what category people are doing anymore. It doesn't matter, you tell me. You're hacked! Oh bro. That's fucked up. Um I mean you feel any better. <laughs> I was also hacked like s several months ago. A few months ago. Back in September. Um it's just my Patreon though. I lost all my fucking money, but I got it back, so Thank God for that. You're doing some Fortnite action. We're enjoying it. Um, but guys, yes, thank you for following. So I will say this before I jibber jabber anymore. Oh, Squishy Duck, thank you. I see uh, you dropped the follow as well. I didn't know if that came up, but anyway. Um, for any of you uh, wonderful people who've come in there with uh, Walshy uh, and uh, Liam yourself, if you no pressure to hang around, if you want to, you know, you want to do other stuff, you want to get food, you want to do real life stuff. No pressure at all. I'm not a pressure streamer at all. You can head on out. You don't don't feel you need to be. You're more than welcome to be here though. Whether you've got a you want know, to talk to me or talk to anybody here or you've got any interest in this very unique game we've just started today. Um, um, but if you you know, so no need to hang around. Um, and anyone who doesn't know, uh, well, she's um, he's an absolute ledge, Ge uh, gentleman and scholar. But um, but um, yeah, it was um. Is a, is a problem, uh, Walsh. But what happened with yours? Yeah, but I don't know what happened, but they, they fixed it. I don't know whether Patreon got the money back from the hacker. Thankfully, that was all that was hacked of mine, seemingly. But uh, they reimbursed my money, so... So I had about a month where I was like, oh, fuck my life. Because it was quite a lot. I mean, in the scheme of things, maybe it wasn't a lot. But for me, it doesn't really have much in the way of income. It was quite a lot of money, so... It was... Um, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a problem, but it's it's sorted now. What happened with you, dude? Sorry, I'm catch up on chat. Um, power streamer. Yeah, <laughs> I guess I'm up. It depends how you def def term, de de term, uh, define power streamer, uh, Walsh. If you uh, number of hours put in, then yeah, yeah, I'll I'll take that. Now terms of quality that's up that's for anyone else to decide <laughs> i i will be here that's about the extent of it uh <laughs> anything on top of that is it just a bonus um <clears throat> you're unfollowed i used to like never mind as long as you did what you're told uh that's what matters sorry i'm just catching on there. um yeah why well, are we getting hacked what the fuck is that I don't know that I did clicked on anything weird on the internet or haven't had like any stuff give way. But whoa, that's a fucking problem, man. So you lost your entire Twitch account and they couldn't sort it out for you because you had like quite a few fo followers and stuff. So that's like all gone. You had to redo everything. That's fucked up, bro. What the hell? What, what the actual hell? Sorry, my m mouse wheel's shit, but. 
that's why um uh hey Faye what the Faye how you doing my dear I hope you well yeah Faye would rock in a new name um yeah fucking boss battle and then some I don't know so it was a problem um they don't even respond to you Walsh what the fuck she sent them a message being like, excuse me, my I can't get into my account. And they just didn't even get back to you. So you just were like, well, fuck it, we're starting from scratch. Dude. Liam, I, f I respect your hustle, sir, and your optimism. I, I, if that happened to me, I, I mean, a lot of does it matter because you've got your like regulars who you let know and they'd be there regardless, but... I don't know. That would dishearten me quite the, quite a fucking bit. Yeah, I re dude, I respect that. I because I I try to um I try to put that out in the world like positivity, not not toxic positivity, but like you know, try and be an optimist and try and do the right thing. But bro, I swear to God, like <laughs> if I lost my Twitch, I would just feel like I don't know. Little things can set me off. <clears throat> oh yeah, if you do, yeah, if you don't don't tell us anything if there's anything sensitive, but potentially you could t press some legal action. Fucking hell, man! Um, my God. Dude, but anyway, well, welcome in, folks. Um, thank you for dropping those follows. Um, well, I, I'm glad you're doing all right, Walsh. Um, despite all that chaos, and you still having, you know, you still enjoying your stream. You playing some Fortnite and getting on it. No, no, yeah, yeah. Liam, go get go some food and just chill and enjoy the rest of your evening, buddy. Yeah, Faye, how are you doing, my dear? Are you well? How 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 are you? Vibe, how's the uh name change vibing? Faye, yeah, you get uh, Faye's like, I'm trying to get coffee over here. Is can you stop asking me fucking questions? <laughs> no, you sort yourself out, Faye. Um, you, you get some uh food and everyone else go in, enjoy your evening. Over trying, yeah, <laughs> it depends what you're trying to do, doesn't it? Bye. We'll discuss that when you're back, if you want. Um, yeah, I know. Uh, I know what you mean, though. I think I know what you mean. I think I know what you mean. That's a oh yeah, that's a nice uh, emote there. Well, well, I like that. That's cool. K-pop heart, nice. Of uh, uh, Twitch, Twitch partner channel. Is that specifically? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> the face of beauty. Fucking. <laughs> You got away with words like I see I did see what you did there. And it's not for me to disagree with that. Anyway. Let's try and get back to uh vacant story. Uh mm. oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent, excellent. Well, well yeah, I am I'm a fan of emotes. Speaking of emotes, phase are particularly good. Um But anyway, uh mine mine are just shit I've ripped off Google Image just shh, don't tell anyone. Um <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, so anyone who doesn't know, so um, this is a PS1 game released in 2000. Um, it's a square soft game. Um, it's a it's been just, it's a cult classic that is notorious, infamous for being very difficult and awkward of a game because it doesn't. Not only is it hard, it doesn't like really explain anything. And I don't know if there's any games out there that are exactly like it. We only just started playing it today. We're not very far in at all because I'm just trying to figure everything out still. Um, but it's also kind of very highly regarded as being a, a very good game if you can get over the initial hurdles of figuring out what the hell is going on. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoyable so far. So one thing I've noticed, so our hit points have like ticked over to max, yet Ashley's uh, status on his head and his arm have not repaired themselves so i assume i yeah wounded requires treatment good 
use caution. So I would need to use something, like presumably like a root, to heal up Ashley's arm. I, I guess for now, I will just not worry about it. Um, sorry, I'm pressing the wrong fucking buttons here. I'm still trying to get to it. Let's look at the items, though. So, I mean, we've got, uh, I've got a bunch. I've got 13 cure roots. So that shouldn't... That should be safe enough, right? But And 11 bulbs. So, we've, we've actually got a decent amount of items, but I'm super frugal with using items. Um... Mm. Did you fay? I don't remember. I've, I've known. I knew the name of it for quite a while. Um, but um, I don't. Uh, I, I knew nothing about it. I didn't know that it was infamous. I didn't know that it was like a cult classic. I didn't know anything else about it. But um, is that right, Janie? I don't. I don't know this. So we, we're. This is not the original. This is. I do not have the hardware. I mean, I do have the hardware, but it's packed away in my attic. I can't get to it. So that's why. I'm running an emulator. No other reason. I wouldn't run an emulator without owning the physical hardware, would I? Of course not, Square. Anyway, <laughs> but yeah. So, so we're just using using the duck station, uh, Janie, uh, and I've just got the graphics like ramped up. So I don't know what it looks like, but maybe you're familiar with the different versions. I assume it, I, I believe the ROM I got is just of the American release. I I don't know. But Slick Mick, how you doing, bro? I hope you're well, sir. Um, but yeah, what's but yeah, I, I, Faye, I never even, I even, uh, never even like really knew about. It. I knew the name of it, but didn't know any of the vibe of it. Yeah, no, this, yeah, sorry, yeah, I've just answered your question there, Jane. Yeah, this is the um the uh, U.S. version. I, I, I figured it didn't really matter. So, I mean, obviously, growing up, we were, I, I mean, where you're from, Janie, but I was uh, obviously used to European versions of things. But generally for streaming, if there's an option, I just kind of go with the American version, just because I assume there might not be... So, cause you, you, sometimes they do like weird stuff with European releases of games, don't they? But, um... Yeah. Break your next cash and checks, of course. You're looking after yourself, uh, slick. That's what matters, buddy. Um, mm. yeah, yeah, that's my th that's my thought, uh, Janie. Yeah, because it's almost like sometimes we get releases in, or at least it, I guess it's less of a thing nowadays with modern games, but um, you know, back in the day, European releases of games, it might be like a, they've changed stuff needlessly over the American version, or it might be like more like censored or more jankified or various things so yeah i i just kind of naturally assume that well let me just play the american version if that's an option because it never used to be so i don't know but uh uh ncc thank you for the um uh for the uh luck yeah something about i don't know uh, okay where where are you at Janie? if you, you want to tell us you don't have to you're more than welcome to that. Um, okay, let me do a save. Let me save the game. Uh, that would be an idea, wouldn't it? If I press the right fucking button, bro. <laughs> it's, it's so counterintuitive not pressing X or, or A on your uh, Xbox controller for your, your main select button. Okay, here we go. Do a save. Yeah, I will. I will. I'll use save states if I need to, but I'd I'd rather just use the inbuilt um, save function for sure. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, I can feel like some shit's about to pop off real, real bad at some point. Is this the boss? Oh my god. What the fuck have I walked into? Fucking Minotaur.
what the what the fucking actual? <laughs> Here we. <laughs> Oh, you're from uh, Slovakia, Danny. Excellent. Oh, you lived and worked in the UK. Excellent. Right, yeah, I can imagine. Fucking Brexit. What the f What the fuck? What the fuck? What? What am I supposed to do about this fucker? So if I go down there, he's going to wallop the shit out of me, isn't he? Um, can I do a little shot at him here? Oh. Okay, he's tapping me up here. And he's, oh, right, so, so we're in range. But he's not in range for me. Oh, this is fucking insane. Okay. No, wrong button. It's... Wrong button. <laughs> okay, this is... Uh, this is all sorts of a problem. Right, oh, this is going to be bust, this one. Okay, you can shoot me the, the, the legs as well. Well, they're surely shooting him in his head. Is if I get his face right? Oh my god! Okay, we're dead. Never mind. Okay, we're trying. <laughs> yeah, con continue. So I assume that just loads up our game. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. okay let me have a think. About this. <laughs> uh, well, we learnt we learnt a few things. We learnt that even with the range of our crossbow is less than the range of his hammer. Um Which is interesting. Um mm. Yeah, yeah, I was and I will if I need to, but uh, I, uh, I'm i seeing if I'm trying to, there's got to be some technique to it, to like avoiding his attacks. He can't just be standing in front of him and like bosh, bosh, you know, herbs, right? And it might be, it might be. But let me, I wonder if there's like somewhere in the, uh, the room that I can get that's maybe... Oh, man. I see a chest on the other side of the room. Ow. Like, maybe there's some cool... Ow. <laughs> oh. Okay, so there's no, like, real hiding from him. Okay, get a shield. So it's not like <laughs> there's anything in here that is uh, gonna win us the fight, is there? Right. Okay. All right. We'll give it one more go. Okay. I'm just gonna finish him off. Um, okay. So I don't think there's anything in the room that is um, really gonna help. So I might just have to literally just tank him. Like, do an attack, bo bosh your herb, do an attack, bosh your herb, do an attack. Unless you can, like, if you get close to him, you can like, maybe stay behind him. He seems to move quite quickly. Maybe he's got, like, a, uh, a short turning circle. Okay, I don't think there's much point... Um... <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, I'll just ignore him. That's the best thing to do, right? You get a big, ugly, like, motherfucker up and you go, oh, fuck you, bro. You think I want to deign to interact with it? <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to do is switch back to our sword. Because, um... I don't know that specifically, uh... Oh, maybe we could grab the axe, maybe. No, because I assume, I assume this thing counts as a beast. So we've got a bit of a... Uh, a finny on that, but uh, I've got a class type on that, but a couple of points and it makes any dip too much difference. And I guess overall, unless unless it like has a great resistance against edged weapons and, and it's weak to blunt, I don't see why it would be. I don't think there's any reason to use that axe. So we're going to switch to the back to the sword, and then we also get to put his, sh his shield back on, don't we? So. 
We might give us a little bit of defensive resistance. Maybe not much, but um, I will just uh, I will just do a another save here just to uh, so I don't need to switch back um, each time I die. Just want to take a few guys. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, I just I had a vibe, Janie, like, maybe there's something specifically in the room, like, which is going to, like, help you fight it. Now, getting the treasure there, then it's, it's a, a shield. Okay, well, that's not really going to do too much. Um, so, I, I, my vibe is that there isn't actually any special way to fight him. I just have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Unless I, unless I fuck up his legs... Maybe I can f mess up his legs and then just stay out of his way. But not really, because, at, you know, the range of his melee attack is greater than the range of my crossbow. So it's not like I can take his legs out and then just kite him around or anything like that. Um, the only thing that I'm thinking that might be a thing is if I get real close to him and could try to s stay behind him. That's the only thing I can think of. Um. Mm. Oh yeah, that's that's the thing, Janie. I'm not. I'm certainly no gamer god, but I um. I've played a lot of games over the years, so I kind of like. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, no. I I will try different things. Um. Right. Right, red mage. Yeah, I want to try and get behind him. I might take a hit, and I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make a liberal use of. Herbage as well. For sure. Well, I do have my little heels and stuff, so. Oh my god, this fucker. He's not. He's not like shitty looking, uh. Oh my god. Just walked right into that one. Oh, you can take his arms as well. You could like fuck up his arm, yeah. Oh. Okay, I didn't actually mean to do that, but... There we go. That's what I mean to do. Right. I wonder if it's worth... ...fucking up his... So I don't think it's worth going for his legs. Oh, nice. Oh, I keep. <laughs> you gotta hold the button. Another one of these. Okay, now. Okay, didn't like that. He's pissed off now. Oh. Oh. Okay. Cool. I only had two, two herbs. Roots. Score. I don't know what it bases that on. <laughs> Map completed 3%. I'm still a normal agent. Oh, this is where you get the random occurrence, isn't it? Now... Is the que Oh, yeah, okay, could be to any of the stats. So here's the question, folks. Do I save scum this? Or do I just take whatever I get given? Um, thank you. Thank you, Jane. Thank you, Red Mage. Um... All oh, right. So while you've got it paused, when you choose anything, you can choose. You can rotate the camera. Okay. So you re so you reckon it doesn't matter at all, Janie? If I forget, like a you know, just fuck it. I should should be able to do it anyway. Okay. Let's hope something real good. I see a plus one on the first <laughs> roll. Okay, plus one strength. So I'm gonna... 
Oh, okay. And we've got some magics now. Uh, so we've got chamomile sigil, which is used to unseal a door in the wine cellar. We've got a uh, grimoire guerre. Um, heal spell. And uh, grimoire debile. Uh, degenerate. Temporarily decreases the target strength. That's a, a strength debuff. In here. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm going to get out of battle mode now. All right. Okay. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad, was it? Now, um, let me get my magics. No, not data. No. So. I was wanting to. I was hoping our, our magics would be on there, but maybe only after you. You have to use the grimoire first, don't you? Yeah. Use on yourself. Master the spell heal. Perfect. So, uh, okay, on his uh, hit points, uh, his magic MP ticks over. So then hopefully, there we go, Shaman. Of course, that's the, the type of spell. Um, this four spell types. I can't remember what the... I think one's Warlock. One's Enchanter. I can't remember the fourth one. Okay, cool. It's light affinity, evocation, single target restores targets, hit points. Done well. We got a heat, got a healing spell. Oh my God, I'm, right? This is going. This is, I'm hyped now. Uh, <laughs> now, surely I can't use the this because I've got no target to use it. On, right? Okay, so I'll have to wait for the first enemy we come across to you go and use that spell. Sweet. Okay. Well, let me switch. No, wrong one. Um, uh, no, uh, no, items. There we go. Let me switch back to our, um, our crossbow for a minute. Cool, there we go. First boss done. All right, not bad. Not bad. Um, and I assume this is just a dead end because we've got a key for the... No, I actually saw... We did see a lot of doors. It was an electrified door, wasn't it? Those soldiers were talking about. So I assume that's probably what it is. Now, I'm not seeing anything else in this room. So, I think it was down there. So, basically, we just got a backtrack. I don't think we've... I, don't know, I guess we don't. Oh, the chest. The chest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I was about to walk away from it. I forgot about it. I already opened it, hadn't I? Fucking hell. <laughs> there we go. That chest we see right there. Fucking hell. Fuck my life. There we go. Cool. So, new. yeah. New shield. I don't know how that compares to the other shield. Um, some Vera bulbs. And some uh, Idrisil's tears. 15 of them. Oh, so are we going to be getting paralysed the fuck out of us at some point soon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be. I didn't see anything on there. Unless you get something to unlock the map a little bit more. I don't know. Um... So, oh, sorry. I was... There we go. Might as well, right? Why don't put light on his legs? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know but... Oh, this Sydney, motherfucker! So this is a risk breaker we've met before. 
Most men complacently accept knowledge as truth. They are sheep ruled by fear. But you are different. Always calm, detached. A smooth flow of thought into action. Indeed, it is almost as if... As if you had no soul! <laughs> Alright. How do you do it? Body and soul are one. Yet yours are separate. Like a child from the night in this storybook. Where is your soul risk breaker? Is this VKP training? Or did you see something that made you shut your soul away? Show me your soul. No. Oh yeah, because it can get eat. Sydney has the power to look inside people's hearts and minds, doesn't he? Okay, so something weird thing happened in his past. Okay, so this kid is Ashley, or this kid is Ashley's kid. And that was his wife, or his mum, depending. Now, is this his dad, or is this him? I'm going to guess it, he's the kid. And something horrible happens to his parents. Fucking random, rando banditos just run, run out of power of nowhere and just sh shank his mum. Fucking hell. Oh no. Okay, maybe it is. Maybe, no, maybe that was his wife. And this was a kid, and that's why we became like a secret agent, man. What the fuck? Okay. You killed your beloved wife and child. Okay, so... Clearly we saw in the cutscene, he didn't kill them. Random banditos. So... Either Sydney's just been an asshole, like he's like, Eh, it was your fault, wasn't it? Me! Or, Sydney didn't actually see the specifics, he just gets a vibe of what a person's feeling, and Ashley himself feels guilty, feels like he is responsible. So Sydney is interpreting that directly. Um, or he's just an asshole. Either way. They were slain by fallen knights, jackals. Wrong! You, yeah, okay, he's just been an asshole. You failed to protect your wife and your child. Some random guys rolled up and killed them, and it's all your fault. Me. <laughs> Jog on, Sydney. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no doubt, Janie. Yeah, yeah, the ye olde English shit. It's, like, it's a little bit that. You get, I'm not against it, but yeah, if, if English isn't your first language, it's pretty like extra tough, right? You failed in your duty as a knight, as a husband, as a father. You killed them, Sydney. Fuck you. And then he. God, he's, he has got he has got the, the Sydney Roth vibe, right? Like, Try to catch me, Ashley Riot. Look outside yourself to find your truth. What's your game? Hardin. Ashley. Oh my god. Cal got herself. <laughs> this is why you don't have secret agents that combat train. Malos. Pay no heed to me. Take them, Riot. The City of Shade will forgive your sins, my son, and call forth a power, a power that lies within you even now. This is my game. That explained nothing. I run, you give chase. I am the heart and you the hunter. But this heart has laid a few snares on of his own. I am waiting for you, Risk Breaker. Uh, hold, Sydney! Okay. Damn. Right, so Hardin's captured uh, 
cow. Oh my god. What the fuck? recovered battle abilities from his suppressed memory. What? What is happening? What the fuck? It's all happening, isn't it? My god. Okay. Right, first things first. Oh shit, here we go. So, got battle ability. Okay, let's look at magic there. Right, shit. Yeah, there we go. Sorcerer. Yeah, Ash is at the only uh, enchanter affinity spells. Sorcerer aid spells. Attack. So, I think. So, Shaman is. Literally heals and, like, uh, debuff removal. Warlock attack spells. That's, like, direct damage spells. Sorcerer aid. So I think that's like buffs and debuffs. I'm gonna guess. Enchanter is affinity. So I think that kind of like can give you a, a specific affinity on your weapon or something like that. We'll see. Anyway, battle abilities. Let's have a look. Um, chain abilities to augment your attacks. Assign abilities to the uh, circle, triangle, and square buttons. When you're in combat, presumably. Heavy shot, gain life. Oh, okay. A temper. So heavy shot. Inflicting a, so I guess this is weapon specific, right? It's a, a shot, I assume. We shall see. Um, so... So this game had quite the influence on you, Janie. There's no doubt about that. <clears throat> so heavy shot. Uh, so it goes risk of one. If it's the amount of additional damage, equal to 70% of damage dealt. Seems worth it. So risk two. Regenerate a gain knife for an amount of uh, Ashley's hit points. Equal to 30% of damage dealt. Ah, so you could use that to keep yourself healed. So you don't have to necessarily stop to use items, in theory. Or uh, temper to risk inflicts an additional 40% of damage on foes and repairs a small amount of weapons uh, uh, D, uh, DP, its durability. Wow, okay. Right, and there's the ones you do in a chain, isn't it? So, I have to figure this out. I'll just put those there like that for now. Now, defensive abilities. So ward, reflect damage, impact guard. What the fuck? So ward, one risk. Such for use of ability prevents paralysis and numbness. Uh, reflect damage. Reflects 40% of damage. Does not uh, reduce damage received. Uh, okay, that makes sense. Effective uh, versus non-magical attacks. Okay. Wow, okay. Um, an impact guard. That's a straight-up guard there. Reduces physical damage by 50%. Okay. Curious. And then next is 20 points. So that means you get a new one when you get 20 points of XP. Um, now, if I... Okay, set up is disassemble, repair, etc. Et okay. Weapons and shields, I don't need to do that at the moment. So if I go to... If we go ahead and um, equip the sword briefly again. And the this, this shield, just for a second. Oh, I need to compare these two shields, don't I, anyway. Okay, so the Pelter has an extra point of magic defense on it. It's slightly less physical affinity. Ah, so the Pelter is much more uh, defensive against edged attacks, and the Buckler is better against blunt attacks. Okay. That really matters. Um at this stage. But yeah, I was, I was curious. Now if we go to battle abilities. 
Okay, so these chain abilities, heavy shot, gain life and temper, it doesn't seem to be specific to to the weapon you're using. So I assume you can use all three of these, regardless of whether he has his sword, his axe, or his uh, crossbow equipped. That's what I'm assuming at the moment. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. Um, but again, for now, let's uh, get our crossbow equipped. We'll see. <clears throat> <laughs> I'll, Janie, I'll do my very best. I'll do my very best. So far, so good. I'm, I'm liking the, uh, the, the gameplay. Yeah, no, no, no. So, so, I, there's nothing about it that's not good. It seems the, the combat is. I mean, it's to the point. You're either gonna kill the enemy or you're gonna die very quickly. <laughs> it's not. It's one or the other, right? There's no. Um. I. I mean, so far so good. It's hard to uh, complain. So I think I'm going to need to store some stuff. And it's going to probably take me a minute to... To get used to see how these... Um... Hello. This motherfucker. Standing here like he thinks I'm not going to notice him. I'm, I'm not going to do any damage though, am I? This is an enemy, right? Probably gonna... Need some blunt, right? Let me equip my axe. Oh, that's cool. That's well, obviously really blunt, but... Oh. Maybe it's not. Oh, it's just a training dummy. Oh, it can allow us to uh, test my uh, skills. Oh, okay, too slow. Okay, I'll see. Okay. So depending on which button you press, depending on which of those abilities you do. Oh, is that right? So yeah, I have to time. When I see the red exclamation mark, I press one of the buttons, right? Um, so if I press as I set them up, so if I go for heavy shot and I time it, that'll do extra damage. Square for tempo will do some extra damage, not as much as heavy shot, but also repair a small amount of DP. Or get some life back. Right, and then you can keep chaining however you like. Okay. I think I see. Too slow. Let me practice this. Okay. It's going to take some time in. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> now, do you have to use different abilities? Oh my god. It's going to take me. <laughs> it's going to take me a minute to get this down. <laughs> oh, it's because my risk is right up, isn't it? Fuck up. I don't know if I want to get these chains down. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> right. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, Jamie. Okay, I don't know why I'm. I need to just watch. I need, not fuck the animation. I just need to watch for the uh, the exclamation mark. I don't know. Right, it looks like you do actually, in fact, need to do a different 
hit there because I, I feel like I hit that second one, but I was trying to press the same button, so. Obviously, I fucked it that time. Too fast that time. Okay. I swear to God. Right, okay. All right, so you can go back and forth, but you each each consecutive hit has to be different than the previous one. Got ya. Oh, was I too, was I too slow? Okay, I, I feel like I was hitting that second one, but... Okay, I understand how it works. Even if I'm going to struggle to do it. <laughs> Right, okay. That's what that's what that's the main thing. I'd rather understand how it works, but fail to you know <laughs> Oh sorry, wrong button. Um but fail to uh do it than just be like, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. No, right. Okay, that's cool, that makes sense. That makes sense. Now whether I can actually uh do that properly or not, that remains to be seen. Alright, we'll see. Hmm. If I do that, uh, uh, Jane, I'm gonna we'll uh, we'll be doing that for the rest of the stream. So, <laughs> I'd rather just fudge my way through it on the fly. <laughs> now, if you want to see that, if you want to see me swing at this dummy for the next fifty minutes, oh, we could do that. But I don't know. Um... Oh my god! You you feel I should give it a go? I'm okay. Me, me. Now, it's it's uh it's actually changing his um this position of his weapon by doing this. I can't even hit the first one. I, f I feel like I'm hitting that second one. Really not hitting it. As a fast as in too fast. God, it's so precise. It's so fucking precise. Okay, that was too fast. Okay. That was too fast for us, it really. Should not be. That's... I don't know what I should be looking at with the exclamation mark of the uh, the graphics. I, sw oh, I can't get angry. It. <laughs> as fast was it? Okay, cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> there we go. So rhythm. Yeah, this is the pro this is the problem, Janie. Rhythm is. Uh, that's it. Okay. Oh, let me, uh... Let me, uh, let that risk drop down. At least for a second. <laughs> so awkward. I guess it's one, it's one of those things that once you've done it enough and you, uh... You're used to it. Then you just be like, you'll be like a master at it, but... I swear to God, right now, fucking hell. Oh, I completely pressed the wrong button. <laughs> am, I, am I, like, fucking up my weapon, though? Just, like, with the affinities, just using it over and over on this guy. The second hit is fucking awkward. Okay, that was way off. <laughs> okay, so it's, it does the effect when you f fail the uh, <clears throat> the later uh, hit. By the way. Yeah, yeah. So it did the extra two points of damage when I the effect of the first combo hit after I failed the next hit. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense, because I didn't know, um... 
Right, temper was different again. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, I've got that. <laughs> I see him drawing the axe across his throat, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm just hitting the button. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna hit the button. I don't even see the exclamation mark yet, buddy. Okay. Right, we're getting there. We're getting there. <clears throat> uh, uh, Tugatoga. I ain't doing that. Hmm. Uh, okay, so if I pulled the sword back out, it'd have a completely different uh, feel to this axe. Okay, let me try that. Yeah, how does it work with the crossbow as well? That'd be, that might be weird as well, right? All right, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it seems the same, but much quicker. Okay, let me try again. Okay, that was too fast there. <clears throat> um. Ow. Well, thank you, Red Mage. You're just being, you've just been polite, but I'll take it. Too fast. I like that it tells you at least. Oh, too fast again. <laughs> That's where I go. Oh, that's just the wrong button there. Again, it's too fast, really. Really? I love the idea of it. I love the idea of the mechanic. That you, get, you know, doing the chain um, and keeping it going, and then each successful hit, you get some kind of... I'll say minor benefit. Um... <clears throat> Not insignificant benefit, but obviously the downside of, of course your risk is like popping off out of control, isn't it? That was too slow that time. Fuck it, this third hit. Jesus, wet. I, I, I hit it once, didn't I? <laughs> Now, I will I will ask, I will say this, and you can feel free to answer me in any way you uh, feel is appropriate. If the ability to complete the game is tied to being able to hit these combos correctly, then I will say right now I will probably not be able to complete this game. So I'm hoping it's not. <laughs> um... That's not uh, me trying to land temper there. That was me doing the heal heal one instead. Red mage. That yeah. That's not even. I'll try temper now though. Yeah. Okay. That didn't work. <laughs> Jeez, that's... Okay, cool. Thank you, Janie. Yeah, that's that's my because if this if the system is um like a cool feature, like you know you've got this great benefit if you can do it with skill. Um, but if you don't have the skill, you can still fudge your way through the game. Then that's fine. But if it's like motherfucker, if you, you better learn to do this because if you if you can't, 
It's like trying to, you know, it's like trying to complete fucking Elden Ring and you you can't dodge. <laughs> it's like, well, you're not going to do it then, are you? You're just not going to do it. Um, I swear to God, though, this is tr tricky as all hell. I didn't have a third here. Fuck me. Too fast. Um, let me. No wrong button. Uh, let me let me see what the crossbow is like. So, how different that is. Very different. Okay. Much, much slowed down version. Okay, well. I understand what, uh. What it's supposed to be doing. Oh, actually, while I think on it, um, what, what I could do, of course, is, um. I'm gonna pull up. Oh. You can change these in combat, can you? Okay. Right, okay, so these are... I'll be pressing the same buttons here. To do the... Act, so these are like the defensive abilities, the active defenses. So I will... Should, in theory, when I... When Ashley's been attacked... You'll see the same exclamation marks, and depending on which of these buttons I press, I could get these effects. So I need to remember that. So, all right, so in circle, I've got the reflect one, and then the actual damage reduction one is on uh, is on square, and that on the on the ward triangle that's for paralysis and numbness. Okay, look on the enemies are going to be used that specifically. Okay. Um. So yeah, I was going to see if I could just use this on the Trinian dummy. So I've got it ready, ready to go. Yeah, cool. Degenerate. Degenerate, which is lowers miss. Okay, <laughs> he's, he's learned the ability though. Um, yeah, because that lowers their uh, attack power, I believe. <clears throat> yeah, that would be that would be handy, Red Mage. That would be handy. Imagine if they just did the remake of this game. Janie's waiting for it. Um. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Uh. Two go. Okay. Cool. That's good to know. Right. Okay. Cool. Cause. Fuck, I'm gonna land those. I'll. I'll try and land them. But I mean, you know, <laughs> if that if it's needed to complete the game. Oh shit! You little fucker. Oh. Oh, it's because got, I got XP. This is why this has popped up. Oh, shit. Okay. Mind Assault. Reduce a foe's MP by 30% of the damage. Uh, regenerate M Ashley's own MP by 30% of the damage. Uh, numbing Claw adds numbness to an attack. Now, we don't know what numbness does, but it's got to be... It's going to buff or debuff, right? Uh, snake Venom adds poison to an attack. Okay, all good defensive abilities. Uh, reduces air affinity damage by 50%. Fire affinity damage 50%. Right, okay. So there's clearly going to be bosses, right, that, or even just random enemies that have very strong elemental affinities. Now, I want to be <laughs> pulling these off anyway, right, but, um. <clears throat> Hmm. I mean, what's important right now? I don't know. Um, does it matter even? Uh, I could I could see myself landing the uh, landing the defenses more. Let me see if I can collect these elemental abilities, uh, defense abilities. Um. First, I don't know if it really matters. We'll take the windbreak. 
Okay, cool. He's learned that. Reclaim the battle ability windbreak. Excellent. Get fucked about. Oh, I don't want. We're good. Too fast. Of course, it's too fast. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna land it there. Okay, well, I, I hit one chain, so even if <laughs> even if I'm attacking, I'll just hit one to get the extra hit. That'd be something, right? That'd be something. Oh my god. Okay. Fuck that up. Yeah, too fast again. Yes. But if I can get through without taking damages, that's not a bad thing, is it? So, um... When you get to your battle... Okay, so next. That's, okay, that's like how many extra points you need to get the next one. Now... You just get you get one point per enemy you kill. Is that how it works? I don't know. Okay. Either way, let's uh, continue on our way. I've got, I've got hor not a horrible feeling, but I keep thinking I'm what missing treasure or s stuff, but it's, it's not especially obvious. Okay, so we've got a bat coming in and a wolf down there. Is that bat going to come in? Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, I was trying to be clever there. So good. I was trying to climb up there, but of course you can't climb if you're in combat mode. Alright, okay. I'm just slowly getting to grips with this, I think. Um. Mm. Right, okay, yeah. Put your weapon. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Superb. Excellent. That's what I want to go for, right? So where are they at at the minute? They ret retain that. Um, yeah, we've got items. There we go. Is it Toby on there? There we go, okay, cool. Oh no, I was not want to look at the pieces of it. There we go, switch between them. Right, okay, cool, cool. So the uh, this sword has got loads of PP. Perfect. Not quite maxed out yet. But that, does that go down? It goes down while you have your weapon out outside of combat. So you can max those out and then just keep them tidied up, right? So that's what you want to kind of be doing. Use weapons until they're sat on max phantom. And you can just keep them there like that. Is that the idea? Okay. On this one? Yeah, everyone likes that big PP, right? <laughs> okay, he's got blasted. Okay, so 
It seems like these enemies did respawn. Which is probably not a bad thing, right? Can I get up here? Um, sorry, I'm trying to look for a minute. Yeah, that's what I was curious about. Let's kill two bats. Right, so... It didn't get any points there. So, to get more... Chain and defense abilities, you actually need to do... Chaining and... You know, offensively and defensively to get the points, I assume. Hmm. Alright, yeah, because I managed to uh, hit it. Okay. Get, the, get a fucking wolf somewhere. I can. Cool. Too slow. There we go. Um, all right, now because it, it had uh, got the uh, the phantom points. Okay. Oh, we're learning. We're learning. Oh. There we go. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Ow. Okay, I fucked that up. Never mind. It's all good. Off. <laughs> I'm getting. <laughs> I don't know where we're getting. We're getting somewhere. <clears throat> right. Okay. Right, okay, so if you do a single hit of a chain, you'll get some amount of points, but if you do longer chains, offensively or defensively, you'll get more points, okay. In fact, I, I hit, like, a couple there, didn't I? Like, one, at least. Yes, I got one. <laughs> so I got me a single point. Okay, cool. So it takes a while. Like, I suppose you can grind them out. Yeah, thank you for your light, Red Mage. Um, mm, no worries. Yeah, yeah, of course you do. I'm, well, thank you for hanging out, Red Mage. I appreciate you, buddy. Like I said the other day, this couldn't be worse timing. So Red Mage put votes to this game, and he's been working patiently for, like, uh, I'd say at least six months, if not longer. And today was the release of Final Fantasy VII uh, Rebirth, and <laughs> he's uh, super hype about it. It's just pure coincidence. That's how the timing worked out. But it is what it is. Yeah, Red Mage is, uh, he's always here. Bless him. I appreciate him. This little shit come on up here like this. Too fast, but bats or whatever. Oh, I, I slipped in the fucking gust trap again. <laughs> it was there last time, wasn't it? In the same spot. <laughs> thank you. Uh, Red Mage, thank you for the gifts up there. You didn't do that. I appreciate it, buddy. There you go. <laughs> Dark Moon's like. <laughs> That's the same reaction last time. <laughs> Too fast. Doesn't matter. Bats get eared. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, in fact, no, I could uh, I could do the heal, right? I could do my heal. Oh, God. Yeah, that's our sorcerer ability. Generate. Uh, single target. Temporarily decreases the target strength. So I definitely want to use that on bosses. Definitely. Um, but let me go ahead and uh, do our heal. Might as well. He's like, yeah. So he's a, so, such a little MP. Like he's, he's got it back already. Um, there's no reason not to, is there? We're going to be using that spell a lot, I think. Clearly. Uh, I guess we keep going, right? It's not far off before we get to that door, I'm sure. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Not too fast there, no point. Too slow. <laughs> oh, oh, the wolf's coming over. The wolf's just the fucking floating platform. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nice. So hopefully, hopefully that means that should have got me a point, right? And did excellent. Cool, cool. 
All right, cool. So, if I wanted a good place, I could, in, in theory, grind this out. I don't need to wait for that door. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, good to know. Good to know. Okay, so, let me go ahead and stash a couple of things. There's no point in carrying too much random junk around with us, is there? Or we might need to, um... We might need to, uh... Use some of this stuff later for disassembling or whatever other reason. So... I'm gonna stash the axe for now. Yeah, okay, you have to double select. Okay. Okay, they're already here. My parts. Okay, so... Alright, so the pelter is good against edged weapons. Okay, let's stash that for now. So edged weapons, that's going to be, presumably, soldiers with swords and stuff, whereas bludgeoning might, blunt might be like more kind of monsters and, I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell. I, um, no, let's hang on to the pelter and we'll stash the, uh, when I press the right fucking button, of course. We'll stash the, uh, buckler for now. Um, got okay, got some two sh shitty bandages. Uh, I don't think we need to store any of this. We can hang on to all of that, right? Cool. Um. Is the only one to store? Uh. Yeah, obviously. I already said so, right? No, I, I, I finished the... I did that right, didn't I? Fuck my life. Oh, this is... <laughs> wrong. I'm even battle mode right now. Oh my days. That's because he's next to the fucking container. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That make it easy. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay, Janie. So, so, so is there a benefit to like having like one of each kind of weapon type, or is, or is it kind of like more? If you know, like you do, you know what you, the game, you know what you're doing, you can kind of be like, hey, I'm going to do a playthrough using this kind of weapon. Uh, and kind of like, so, or, or set of weapons and stick to certain things. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see if we can do this properly. Alright, store. Ah, uh, okay, so end. There. End the storing. These are the items you want to store. Yes. Right, okay. I have to go down to okay there. End item transfer. Yes. And then we've got save. Okay, we'll do a save over here, right? Okay, so it's a little bit awkward. But uh, we figured it out. You go, oh, it's actually got New Game Plus. Oh, shit, and that's why it's got the clear numbers there. Wow. So what do you, what do you carry over, Janie, for, uh, into New Game Plus? Do you keep all your stats and everything? And all your gear? Damn. Right, okay, so... Uh, Where's this? Where's this door? Is it a little bit further back? It's in the next room. I think it might be. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, because we followed the guys into here and fought them. And it was the room before that they were chatting. Right, okay. Because otherwise we won't remember it's there. All right. right, so we usually do that sigil here, right? And it should be uh, good to go. Right, yeah, no. <laughs> and that's the thing for the for the channel, Janie. 
e even if we do complete the game, we I do do like one and dones. We we wouldn't do like a second playthrough of this, regardless of how much I uh, enjoy it. Assuming I can even get through it. Um, there we go. Chamomile sigil used. Turn to dust. Okay, well it served its purpose. Right, let's see what fresh hell is going to attack us coming through. Oh, zombie. Oh no, he's just fucked up. <laughs> or is he? Uh, I I beg of ye, stop the pain. Blah. Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, his soul left his body. He's a zombie. Oh my god, I called it. <laughs> Is this some magic or merely the power of Valia Mond? Oh. I'm going to climb up here first, buddy, because uh, I'm pressing all, all sorts of the wrong thing. Okay. So I guess he counts... Yeah, so he's undead. So I don't know what, if anything, is any kind of uh, benefit. Too fast. Never mind. So can he just not hit me up there? Okay. I can't necessarily hit him either. I assume we hit him in the legs. So in theory I should be able to take advantage of him being slow. Faster. Okay, we got. Oh, I got him. That's what matters. Right. Oh, I got his rapier. Uh, yeah, we'll be taking that. Obviously. Okay, let's look at this. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was wondering about boxes, Jenny. Would I need to like smash them all up or whatever? Anyway, let's have a look. Um, okay, so it's, it's piercing damage, as uh, one would expect. There we go. That's on the wrong fucking menu. I mean, it's only uh, it's only one point of piercing damage. Um, okay, but it has it has uh, two points more strength than the uh, than the Fandango. That's interesting. Yeah, there's just so many uh, stat variables that it's like it's hard to know exactly what is uh, what's the best thing. Ah, look, my uh, my uh, crossbow is now maxed out PP there, so I should probably switch to something else for a minute and work on keeping the phantom points of that up. Right. I'll just shoot him. That's a good thing to do. Okay, I'll switch back to the Fandango for a, for a bit. Oh, wow. A heal trap. That's pretty handy, right? That's cool. Go like that. Right, so um, Pierce, uh, Blunt, and uh, Edged are kind of like the main factors you need to worry about, right? So we definitely need to make use of that, but let me, um, let me just use the Fandango to kill a few enemies. Super max out the, the Phantom points on that. I'm just want to fucking buy. Swear to God. <laughs> Let's 
More zombies. Oh my god. Is this too part of your game, Sydney? Probably. Probably is right. Can these guys climb up here? Right, so this one's a bit. One of the armors a bit. I'm more quick on the uh, uptake here. Here we go. I slap him in the legs, I guess. Oh my god. She's starting to train there. Oh, cool. I reflected some of the damage. Nice. Not too fast there. Never mind. That's too fast there, but never mind. All good. All good. me anyway. <laughs> Tee -hee. Okay. Cool. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Got a kill ball. Very fast there. Okay, as... If, I'm, if you're careful, you can kind of uh, start the range of these zombies a little bit. Seems like. Cool, <laughs> right? Excellent. I like the the drop rate on the items. Seems good, right? Oh, I love that he's only got one arm. So hence you can only target one arm. That's some, I love that. Should we try and take his arm off? <laughs> oh. Oh, you can heal. He has heals on undead, can you? And that fucks him up. Excellent. Classic Final Fantasy style. Um, okay, so generally undead are good at piercing is good against them. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. I was just trying to... Um, I will we'll be switching that anyway. I was just trying to get max out the phantom points on the on the uh, Fandango for a second. Let me take his arm. Oh, okay, cool. I actually almost got a proper chain there. There we go. I might have done it in fact. I'm quick story. Excellent. Okay, let me have a look. Yeah, yeah, cool, it's maxed out. Okay, cool, let's switch to the rapier now then. Stabby sword. Okay, cool. So zombies are not too crazy to fight, assuming you are uh, careful. And also, you say you can cast heal on them to fuck them up. 62 points. Not bad, is it? Yeah, yeah. I'll, that's you're right, Janie. I wasn't paying attention to uh, how much risk I was uh, accumulating there. I was just too focused on swinging my sword at them. <laughs> oh wow! Okay. Damn, these wolves are getting shanked. Okay. I don't see much of anything. It's 
so I open both doors. We're almost at the end of stream. Oh, that sounds sus, doesn't it? Um. Okay, this looks like this might be turning into a thing. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, hello. Screechy boy. It's a phantom type. This is fucking god. Oh dear. Now this kind of guy count as undead. Oh shit. Oh fuck. There we go, it's degenerating. Heal will hurt him. Do you reckon? As I've not attacked him yet, it's no big deal if I uh, if it if it does heal him. Let's find out. Yeah, okay, it actually heals him. Okay, that's fine. All right, abdomen. Oh, it's, oh, no, it's evil type. Less chance to hit, but I'll do 30 damage if I. Let's risk it. I think we should risk it. Okay, I'm pressing the buttons when I shouldn't hit. I mean to do that. Drain heart. That's not good. There. And again, it's a cheeky fuck. a little bit, right? <laughs> it's sensible what he's doing. Right, okay, let's try and stab him in the gut again. Let's land this chain properly. No. Oh, it's because I'm pressing the button to try and attack when... Uh... Right, risk is only five. That should be fine then. So does he start with his debuff on him? I'm not really sure. I don't know if there's any way to check. Faster. Oh dear. 
Did I get him? He's powering up. Oh no, I got him. Guys, a little bit, a little bit hairy there. Think about this heels. What right, points? I don't know about that. Come on. I'll take that percentage. Normal. You're very normal. All right, here we go. Plus four. Come on. Give me a plus four or something. Plus three hit points. Not bad. Not bad, right? Not bad. You know, could be worse. What is worse? All this he's giving me, though. Elixir of Queens. Given to soldiers by uh, Leon Mons, uh, uh monks in ancient times. Adds a few points of hit points. Oh, is that like a... You just, it's a per, perma increase. A few points of MP. Elixir of Mages. Wow. Another Grimoire of Lux. Smell Spirit Surge. Summons a Spirit of Light to attack enemies. The fuck? I'm taking all that. Bruh! We're ball balling out of control right now. What the fuck? That was fun. I kept him on my toes there. Alright, oh, okay. It'd be above his torso fix, but okay. Um, go to the status screen check. Okay, cool. Well, next time we get in a, a proper battle like that, we'll, uh, I'll make a point, Janie, of trying to, like, pay attention. Okay, right, well, um... Runs. Oh, wait, I can probably use this from the quick menu, can't I? Right, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, items. Yes, try this grim one, then. Okay, so you you summon the light spirit to attack something. Okay. Okay, let me try adding uh, this. Hit point up. Plus two hit points. Permanently fucking done well. Alright, nice. Go to the, the MP one then. to MP. Mm, okay. You can save. That's what, so that's what you can save, scum. Same as the uh, the bosses, but eh. Yeah, no. I'm sure it'll be fine, right? Plus two and plus two. Yeah, could be worse, right? Okay, cool. So I guess that was like the second boss there, right? Rusty nail. Pole arm. Piercing two-handed. Okay, and the brave heart. That's a shield. No, that's a gem. Increases the success rate of non-magical attacks by 20%. Must be equipped on a weapon. Well, I don't think any of my weapons, unless this does, uh, have any gem slots yet, right? And now, uh, let me ask you this, Janie. Um, with gems, when you slot them in an item, can you take them out again? Or are they stuck in that that weapon for uh, all time? And they've got some kill bulbs as well. Nice. Okay, let me have a look at this um, spear then. Okay, Durability is neither here nor there. Okay, there's four piercing as opposed to the one piercing of the rapier. A physical, that's what you'd kind of expect. All right, everything's minus now, in a minute. So I guess beasts are all the wolves and bats, aren't they? That's why I've got quite a good affinity on the, uh, the crossbow. The, uh, sorry, the class of beast class. And Fandango's obviously a bit all over the place. Okay. That's, um... Oh, sorry. Yeah, wrong fucking button. So you're suppressing uh, A. Oh, wow. Check this out. And this presumably have greater range as well. You would think. Obviously, no shield while we're, we're rocking it. Right, so you're good to set up, isn't it? 
attach gems. Ah, you can. Oh, you can move the gems freely. Okay, well, so there's no reason to not. Uh, to not use this, right? Oh, increase the success rate of non-magical attacks. So I assume that means just the accuracy, right? By 20%. Which in... Th uh, sorry, uh, it seems... A so, so that's what it does as standard. And it increases your agility by 5. And it increases your strength by 2. And it increases the uh, class uh, of all... Of three points on all enemy types and three points of all affinity types fucking hell that's pretty sweet right so yeah let's go ahead and attach that right no reason not to so where's his spear and uh uh oh, okay no, so that's the two parts that are making up the rusty nails and the spear and the uh, uh, spe a spiculum pole is our handle. Right, okay. Okay. Yes, I'll do that. Well, there we go. Well, la -di da We've got a new spear and we've got our first gem set in it. All right. Yeah, yeah. So we want to be saving all gems. Can you, can you combine the gems together? Okay. So, uh... I guess we just want to be pressing on through this door. We're at the end of our stream there today, so I need to find a safe point or just a safe state. Perfect timing, right? Oh, the vibe. They've got a creepy vibe as well, hasn't it? Right, fucking up. Is it the mausoleum or some shit now? Okay, let me, um... I've got so much stuff. Yes, check the container. Just on this, check out the memory card. Right, yeah, yeah, so we're out of the, uh, the fucking wine cellar. We're now into the cat. Okay, so we want to go store. Uh, and we are going to... So, I, sh I assume they don't lose... The only way to lose phantom points is in combat? Or outside of combat? I'll store that for now. I don't think I'm going to store any of those. Right, okay, and that's what you're going to put in there. Okay, I see. Yeah, the the uh, the menu. Okay, there we go. And restore that Fandango. Yes, I do. Okay, it's not intuitive. And then we got to save. So is that? It just giving you an option to do a save, but you said, uh, uh, Jane, you need to do you need to do a save at that point anyway when you put items in, or it doesn't remember your items properly. But I could probably do another save on top of it. Is that necessary? I would imagine probably not. But OCD and all that. You would, so, all right, so you would say that would be a good thing to do. Just keep it all, with you at all times. It's the most important thing. Okay, I'll pull it out again. Right, okay. I'll make sure to pull it out tomorrow then. I probably the axe as well, right?
Well, there we go. All right, folks. Um, I guess we've got to leave it there today. Unfortunately, we've come to the end of our scheduled stream. Wow, okay. That was Vagrant Story. Or the first little part of it. Obviously, uh, as always, we didn't get too far into it, as we never do on our first streams. I'm trying to get to grips with everything. And I feel, even as, as you stand, as your average game goes, clearly there's even more to get to grips with in um in vagrant story than there is your average game so um mm. right thank you J janie i'm uh, thank you for joining us i'm glad you uh i'm glad you enjoyed it obviously you were a big fan of the game and uh, i'm a i might be a big fan of the game we'll see how it goes it might end up um it might end up being that way yeah no so we'll, so janie we'll be back tomorrow uh, I do currently, I stream every uh, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Um, and um, the way I usually do things on this channel is we pick a game and then we just, we play that game until we finish that game. Um, so we'll be back on this tomorrow. Uh, I'm excited to see what, what we do. Uh, yeah, so we've cleared the first area, the wine cellar. Um, got a bunch of weapons. Um got a few a couple of bits of new armor uh you know we've got a spear we've got a crossbow we've got a rapier we've got our fandango we've got an axe we've all sorts of shit and we've got our first gem of course which we slotted in our spear so i'm uh looking to forward to having some fun with that um mm. yeah yeah and i killed the first two bosses which are a little a little bit tricky there but i was like okay um no, thank you, Wolf. Thank you all for being here, guys. Appreciate you. Um, that's right. I did a little, little skin tag on the roof, roof of my mouth there. Terrible. Anyway, but um, here we go. Let's see. Let's see where we're at. So, yes. Thank you uh, very much to uh, Janie for the follow. Uh, Walsh coming in that uh, hot raid. Thank you, Walsh. Yeah, I appreciate that. Um, Walter for the follow. Uh, Squishy Duck. N for the follow, NCC for the follow, and uh, Red Mage, thank you for gifting that um that sub to Janie. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, yeah. So um it varies what time I start, Janie. Um we always try and finish around this time, nine. So I am fucking hungry by this time and we've got to just chill out for the evening. Um Tuga as well. Thank you, Tuga. Can I sit here? Of course you can. Thank you for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Um So um I can start any time from 2 o'clock, Janie. I'll never start before then. But it depends like on how well I sleep and stuff. Um, like today, I started pretty late. We didn't start until like what, after 4 o'clock. Um, so yeah, keep an, keep an eye out. It, like I say, it can be as early as 2. But I will be honest, recently, it's not, it's not really been that early. Um, so and it, it, you expect kind of maybe between three and four, um, but yeah, if you keep an eye on um, Twitch, Janie, I won't be. Um, uh, I definitely won't be too much later than four. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> I don't have a set start time. It kind of varies. Like I say, in a perfect world, if I slept very well and got up in good time, you know, got my shower and my coffee in me, and was like, yeah, let's go. I'd start dead on two o'clock. But my. Uh, my sleep schedule is a bit fucked, so sometimes it's not, you know, it's, it's much you, you, more recently in the past couple of months has been like three o'clock, maybe uh, maybe even a bit later. Um, but yeah, keep an eye out, bud, and I look forward to seeing you can help me out, figure out what is going on in this game. And um, so far, so good. Now, definitely the chaining thing, the, hitting the timing on your chain attacks and your chain defense. That's definitely something I'm going to struggle with. Absolutely. I'm going to do my best. But any time I'm successful at it, it's going to be fucking fluke. <laughs> it's not going to It's not going to be skill. It's going to be because I just fluke pressing the button the right time. Aside from that, I'm very hopeful. You know, we've got a debuff spell. We've got a healing spell. Um, I like the fact that your MP and your hit points are regen outside of combat you know it's very slow drip but less pressure and it and the game also is far more liberal with the healing items and stuff it gives you than i thought it was going to be 
So I'm pretty oh, this uh, right now. I'm fairly hopeful that we may be able to make some progress in the game, but it may slap the shit out of me uh, in a few days and <laughs> throw up a war and be like, "Fuck you, buddy!" And I'll be like, "Okay, now <laughs> we stop playing the you know the tutorial. Now uh, Vagrant's always taking the gloves off. <laughs> we shall see." We shall see, but Faye, uh, always a pleasure, my dear. Ritz, th oh, thank you, bud. I will, I will. I know you will. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I hope you've enjoyed your first day with Rebirth today, buddy. I know Red Mage has. And Squidge, I've not even heard from Squidge. She's all in. So, um, guys, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'll return sometime, roughly tomorrow, and we'll get a, a, our second stream of Vagrant Story in. But yeah, so far so good so everyone i hope you all have a good evening rest of your day and um i'll see you very soon have a good one take care